Oh, I learned how to cry like a baby. You want to hear it? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Put the muzzle on her. League of Legends is a fucking toxic game. Like it makes you a bad person, low key. Why? Wow. Imagine if you're driving home with your girl. Oh. In that song, the weekend's like, I took your bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I flipped that car. Gra? Gra. 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 Welcome back <laughs> to Grunder the Influence. My name is Jeremy. My name is Esther. Oh, that was such a. Can we read? I hate that. I hated that you did. Grow that. home. <laughs> My name is Vitrap. Hey. My name is Wutak. Oh. <laughs> it's a new year, new you. Happy and New Year's. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Oh, it is a new year. Yeah. Wow. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. And we have a very special episode today because we're going to talk about New Year, New Us. Ugh, and so same friends starting off what is a new year's resolution Damn, we just uh, we ain't we didn't do nothing no sponsored by oh, Nectar Heart so we didn't do bad. nothing so i'm tired hey, yeah, he's a new shit, guy yeah, today this, this shit is just fucking going straight into it it's a new show yeah, too let me, let, let me just hit it from the beginning rewind welcome back to under the influence and it is a new <laughs> year Woo! And we've survived another full year as a podcast together. My name is Jeremy. My name is Esther. My name is Vitrap. My name is Wu Tak. And we are sponsored by Nectar, Nectar Hard Seltzer. Seltzer. Unique, Unique Asian, Asian flavors. flavors. No, no weird, weird aftertaste. aftertaste. 90 calories. I always had this like uh, idea that it was like popcorn. We say one word, but anyways. No, that's way too hard. Yeah, link, link in the description. Go get it in the stores. But we've survived another year together as a podcast. Oh my God. Deepy deepy. Why you said survived? Like it was like a battle you had to like. It go was difficult. It was difficult. to say the least. There it was, was a lot very, of ups very and difficult. So many great moments in the last year, but now it's a clean slate. Are they gonna pop up the videos up there, and we have to? <laughs> <laughs> no, our editors won't do that. Uh, no, they don't be doing that. You just look like, dumb. <laughs> <laughs> How was your New Year's? You guys have fun? Uh, wow. Well, seeing as how it's like December something, I think I will oh, have had fun. Stop giving it away. You're ruining the magic. You guys, know? we're filming this early no, because. We're guys, we're No, we're not. Can I just be honest with them? I'm no. trying to fucking. I know you guys love lying, but. <laughs> what do you mean? Maybe they'll find out soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> Why I? would you know that? But anyways, we're, we're filming this in December because I have to go home. You don't give a fuck about this. Um, it is December 15th as of today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're filming a few early. So this is going to come out in the new year. And with new year, it's uh, everyone's shitty attempt to reinvent themselves. So. Well, starting did you, off. Did you guys have a fucking New Year's resolution this year? Yes. What was yours? Uh, if I tell you, it won't come true. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, <laughs> the one from this past That's year. That's how it works. Oh, okay, wait. Okay, are we going around and talking yeah, about... Yeah. Okay. Say, My, your, say yours from 2023, though. Not oh, this new year. that didn't your, come... That, that I didn't do? That you did do. Yeah, did, yeah, you do any, a, did you make oh, any yeah, of them hit? Yeah. I did. Well, let me I say it again. What's a resolution that you kept? Do it again because Vit just walked right in front of you while you talked. A What's resolution? a resolution that you kept? There's, a, there's, a, there's no resolution that I kept. I'm very inconsistent. You shouldn't <laughs> be like me. But but what I, what I did do that I meant to do for years and years is start a YouTube channel. And... Post on TikTok every single day. And I have been doing very, very well on that. Nice. Clap it up for Esther. That counts. Thank you. Clap ta, 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 ta. So what were you If Eddie was here, he would do this. <laughs> 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 what, what, uh, what, what did you not keep from your resolutions? Everything else, damn. But what was everything else? Okay, diet. Oh, I was yeah. like, I'm going to eat healthy no and I'm going to go exercise. I haven't, I exercised two times this year. <laughs> Maybe three. No, no. At least five. Five what times. Fuck? What did you? Five times. What did you do for exercise? <laughs> Damn! I, mean, I think that I, burp. I think that if you go to the gym and you walk on the treadmill, that's still an exercise. It is. Yeah. Me walking to walking my dog is a, no. I've been doing it every single day. No, that don't. I count. walk my dog every single that day. That don't count. You're not walking for long enough for that to be exercise. Yeah, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, uh, maybe? That's, that's pretty good, actually. Yeah. What about you? What, what? I don't remember what my resolutions were. Did you have goals for the year in general? I don't remember. Gaining weight. 
Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, what is the, nothing at all? You, you can't remember a single goal? No. That's fucking but crazy. But I, I, like, I like to think that I've changed a lot in the past year. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I just don't remember the what the goals changed. were. Right, so, so then in what ways have you changed? Uh, I started working out. Uh, did we do this, did we do this last episode? Huh? We need to do this last episode. No. What the fuck? Uh, yeah, I started working out. I think I am just much more mature in how I think and what I want to achieve and how I treat people. And even even the, the content I put out, I don't go... Or rather, I think about how it could affect young kids seeing it. Um, nice. It's about time. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it. That's good. Those are good things. So then you don't remember your goals, so you can't remember if you didn't hit any of them. I like to think that I changed a lot. I, I like who I'm becoming. Okay. Oh, a lot more good. than who I was. That's good. That's very good. That's good. Clap it up for Vit. Clap Thanks, it up guys. for Vit. Wait. Ooh, okay. What about you? <laughs> Wait, I want to go last because okay. I'm going to say some. You? So I normally every birthday I write in my Evernote like a birthday journal update like and I write like things I want to do or a reflection and for some reason I didn't do it last year. I only have 31. I was looking for 32. Damn, you old as hell. Very old. He's like, dear diary. Man, it's the same. It's been a whole year with the same joke. Y'all need to come up with a new one. Anyways. Damn, he's extra old. Yeah, yeah, they only get older. (laughs) Um... Well, it's funny because the number one thing I wrote at 32 was patience. I think that I've developed more patience than I had previously. Yes. Um, and then I said... But previously, you was at like negative patience. So, you know, maybe now you are like nothing. <laughs> he finally reached said, zero. Yeah, yeah. You finally reached like zero patience. Watch me before. exercise patience live on camera. Hey, he has one. <laughs> <laughs> just just leveled up to two. Got to level two. <laughs> okay. Sorry. And I shit my pants too. Wait, I'm about to lose my patience. Um and then also I wrote uh <laughs> Y'all about to clown me for this one. Yeah, you need it. <laughs> I said speaking less and truly listening. <laughs> You're right, I was gonna clown you. Hey, uh, but you're self aware. That is something you should have worked on. Wait, and when then, did you write this? When I was 30, when I was the wee 31? young age of 31. <laughs> when I was 30 is yeah. crazy. Yeah. 31, when I was 31. Jesus Christ. Okay. Frolicking. Life was so different back then. <laughs> Wait, you got, what, what is your age what difference? Was, what was college was like in the 80s? <laughs> <laughs> we rode a That's horse cool. to school, both ways in the snow. Wait, he is very close to the 80s. What's, what's y'all's age difference? Me and Jeremy? Yeah, like ten, eight. Ten, eight, almost eight, eight years, eight, right? Eight, eight, what are you, 24? Yeah. I'm 24. Yeah, uh, 39. He's 10 oh, years older than We're all four me. years apart. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's the outlier. Yeah, she's the outlier. I'm 10 years younger than them. <laughs> you're you're 10 years older than Ian. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Grandma, Ian, when you look at this guy, are you like, damn, that motherfucker old as hell? <laughs> Pick your words carefully. <laughs> no, Jeremy's super young. His, <laughs> he looks young. Smart man. And smart is young. Man. <laughs> Um, he does look young. Yeah. He's like, I hope I don't turn out like him when I'm 32. <laughs> hey, you stop clowning him. I'm over this. Your turn. <laughs> no, you keep going. What you else did more. you write, man? What's a resolution that you kept? Oh, I wrote that. Uh, I said, be kind to myself. Mm. Um, Good one. And then less wasteful phone time. Be intentional. And then... Uh, Trusting my inner self and going for bigger opportunities. Mm. Trusting mm. your inner self? Yeah, I would say all of those are, are pretty good and yeah, something yeah, yeah. that you... Maybe not to. trusting your inner self. Doesn't that go against your whole... Tr- yeah, yeah, yeah. That that was when, this is when I was a, when I was a uh, agnostic. That was oh, when okay. you were a I mean, pagan? Yeah, no, agnostic. You were worshipping river nymphs and yeah, shit? Yeah, basically, I was just out there doing rain dances and, yeah. and uh, was it? Mother Drugs. Ga- Mother I, Gaia. I, I, inter- I interpreted yeah. that as like... Believing in yourself more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Believe it, uh, and, and uh, sur- I also wrote like surrendering in the moment. That sounds like the, your ideals of like don't trust your thoughts now. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'd say in two years, I think I've come. You think you've decent. you've hit your prime, or when do you think you'll hit Absolutely your prime? Absolutely not. I feel like uh, he's too broke to be in his prime. <laughs> yeah. No, I feel like for close. men, prime is like 35, 37, no, I think even forty. I think you're. Yeah, I think you're. I'm beginning. 
the next arc. It especially, like, especially if you remain looking like that, and then you hit like thirty five, and you've got like the success of a thirty five year old man and the energy. Yeah, uh, I don't know. You've got the energy levels of like a fifty year old man already. So That's no, true. he has a, no. He has a good. He has good energy. I I, uh, I saw a quote that uh, said. Your 20s are all about unlearning your traumas so that you can truly enjoy your 30s. And uh, that's a good one, too. Also, although most people don't live like that, though, to be yeah. honest. 90% of people don't unlearn any traumas. Oh, yeah. That's so true. Yeah, They just get to 30, they're the same old. It's like, That's what, like, that term NPC, that's what an NPC is, is mm-hmm. people that just allow life to happen to them. You exist, like Victoria's song, talking about the th- those three realms of possibility. Yep. Pro- they exist in the lowest realm where yep. they're just going through life, doing what they think they're supposed to do, never really, like, creating their own reality. And I yeah. actually d- didn't answer the question properly. It's like, w- what resolution did you keep? And I didn't really... S- I guess it was all those things I was like trying to do, but there wasn't one where I was like, "Oh, go to the gym every day." You don't. You didn't make like a real hard New Year's resolution. No, but I'm gonna try. This I feel like year. we did, but I just can't remember. I can't remember either. But yeah, I feel like you know what the benefit of having a podcast is. Yeah, we're gonna go back. We could and just watch. go watch that That's shit. True. That doesn't help oh, us in the moment though. Yeah. <laughs> we did make it hot on a podcast. Yeah. I'm sure we did. I'm, we were doing this podcast. I'm wondering. Uh, I saw the dude. Remember, he, he gives like motivational speeches while in the ice bath. Yeah. Oh, he, yeah, yeah. he did 365 days. I mm-hmm. just saw that video pop up. <coughs> And he was just basically what a gangster because that shit is hard, dude. And he's in like Minnesota. Yeah. It's like one degree, like Minnesota. it's painful. And uh, just one thing he said that was like hard. He was like, "So all this time I've been giving you guys like motivation, whatever, whatever." He's like, "But this was all for me." He's like, "I wanted to see if I could hold myself accountable, whatever, like whatever it was." I was like, "Damn, 365 days." I really thought about it. 365 days of anything. That's it's like crazy. supposed to be be- yeah, yeah beneficial for you. I like I want to try to do something like even reading a book like a page of like never not opening a book a day or yes. something you know like even that I slip up on and that's just it's laziness. Much easier, yeah, I yeah. thought I thought about trying to see if I could just record and post every single day for a year. It's that's gonna be one of too. those photos like. <laughs> no, 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 I mean like like on TikTok. Just even if I'm sitting in my fucking crib for the whole day at least make a video like oh make some yeah. one I video a day yeah. i didn't do shit today that'd be crazy too uh-huh. even if it was like a side page just to have a thought it's almost like yeah. a journal that's, that's basically what i was thinking is like uh, a, 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 a year of my life documented just to look back and see what the fuck did yeah. i do this year what who's, did i do who's gonna, who's gonna edit yeah. that one no editing no editing, <laughs> no editing? oh just, yeah, just, just straight record it upload yeah. max straight max to like a minute video just throughout the day seeing what i did every day yeah. okay. cool. that's crazy it's just funny like maybe like maybe because it's you it would blow up and there'd be funny moments but i'm saying like if a r- random person did that on a dead page it probably would do nothing but then at the end of it if they then revealed like, oh, I film myself every single day. That'd yeah. be a cool video just to see what someone did every single day. But yeah, I th- I th- uh, we'll see if I do it or not, but I do really want to do it. You should. Make make a resolution right now. What's your resolution this year? Probably become more consistent with at least posting. So make it more specific. Post to TikTok every day. Yeah. I want to start streaming for real. I do want to start streaming. FIFA. FIFA. So I've, I've given up the fight that I, I know I'm not. I'm just not going to be able to leave that game alone. So, so then p- pick a goal like like make your goal more like stream once a week. I want to stream starting off twice a week, and then we'll see where it blossoms to then. But I'm on that game every single day, so might as well. The if I wanted to be hard with myself, I would say other than recording this podcast and like maybe like a rest day, I want to stream every day. But that's not attainable twice. right we'll now. Twice, we say twice. That's good. Are yeah. you on it every single day if you're at home? If I'm at home not doing shit, I am on FIFA. Wow. Because it's, it's, it's FIFA. I'm addicted to the game. I'm addicted to gambling on that game. <laughs> like, I'm not cutting any blows. Uh, I'm also, like, that's how I get to t- still talk to my friends from back home. Oh, so you're talking already. So it's just to put, like, a camera there that... That's you're, what you're I'm saying. literally doing. Oh, but okay. it's like I have this little mental block. I hate being on camera. Really? Oh, you'll what? start. Oh, because he says things. Well, the slurs. Oh, no, says, that's not I, why. He, I bet you gotta he stop does. saying the slurs. That's not why. That's yeah. not why I hate it. It's just, it's. It, uh, someone said it's like you have to have something for yourself. Like when I'm at home, that's uh, kind of my safe area. Mm. I don't want a camera. That on is me. true. I agree. 
That's it's why, like, the vlogging shit, when I try to, like, vlog stuff, I'm like, damn, I, I, yeah. I don't enjoy anything I've anymore. I've stopped for And it's like, I, I feel like a part of it is, too, is, like, I grew up without a phone, so when I'm experiencing things, whereas most, like, other young people are like, oh, I have to document this, my mind doesn't go to that. It's just, I don't even know I have a phone. Sometimes yeah. I have to be like, oh, fuck, I should take a picture of this, and I still won't do it. Oh, that's so true. I forget to take pictures and videos, even when I'm just like, oh, it's for YouTube. Yeah, I forget I'm having it fun. completely. All the time. Mm -hmm. You have to really, like, for me to start vlogging, it's like, I had to build that habit. Yeah. It just sucks, and it's hard. Yeah. But this, then, this was the first year of my life where I, I, I realized that I could build habits. And the yeah. gym was a big part of that. Nice. So now I want to expand. Yeah, you're nice, really good at nice. good with that. Hey, it's also the good part about it is it's, uh, and I always remind people this, it compounds. It's not like if you fall off your habit, it like you're starting from square one. It goes like Definitely. that. It's not like that. No, what, what was cool is, um, so I had a crazy stretch where I got sick, that virus, for like three weeks. It literally hurt to move. Then we got into the fight. And then there was a third thing. I forgot what it was. But my body just like could not handle working out. So I didn't work out for like a month. And then, when was it? It was like, like last month. Oh, really? I just started working out again like three weeks ago, two and a half maybe. Oh, the fuck! Ah. What? But it's like, like when when you build that habit and it's become such a part of your life, like when I didn't do, when I wasn't doing it, like that's all I could think about. Like I actually miss working out. Yeah. And saying that a year ago, I would have never believed myself. You was you was a you was a twig a year ago. I wish I could feel like I miss working out. <laughs> What's your wait? Okay, so yours is streamed twice a week. We're putting that out in the open. Yep. Public. Yeah. And then you guys can harass him if he doesn't. No, I'm just kidding. I also <laughs> will say before we get into your thing, um, I don't know if I ever said it to you guys, but I do deeply appreciate. I just like recently came out of my whole depressive thing. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say something else. <laughs> What's wrong know, with just, you, man? It just made me laugh. I just thought. No, nah, uh, punch him. <laughs> Why? Why do I need to get punched? Dude? But yeah, I was. I, I woke up today, and then it wasn't just straight fucking misery. And I, I smiled, and I was proud. I, I was happy to be alive. Nice. And you guys played a very, very big part in that. Nice. I was. I also was like, you know, when you work out and you get a, a little high after. Yeah. I was in the gym, fucking I'm tweaking. Like rock last hard night. when I come out the gym. Yeah. You I was, what? Rock hard. <laughs> but no, it's like I was tweaking last night. Uh, I took too much pre workout, but it's like. I was just so appreciative of of like who I have in my life, you guys, and like suburb talks and all those. You guys are always constantly doing shit. And I'm like, I would not want to improve myself if I didn't have you guys in my life. It's one. important. It's that rule, the five people. Yeah, you're and that's yourself. what I was trying to say on my story. Um, that one, and then two, like when I was down, everybody here took time out of their life to to make sure I was okay. And even if I did have a hard time accepting it, I do want to say thank you. Nice. You accepted it, though, which is a good step. Yeah. That's and that's beautiful. how more good things come your way. You have to, it was, you have to learn I'll, how to accept. I'll, I'll tell you right now, it was hell saying yes to that dinner. Just because I'm used to being the like... The Heidi Lau dinner? Yeah. That oh. shit was delicious, but though. The dinner itself, I had a lot of fun. Mm. But it, it was hell getting myself to say yes and leaving my crib. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I we appreciate had, you guys We had a lot. to choose the spot that he really liked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, no. yeah. yeah. No, we, we chose a different hot pot spot first, and he was like, "Honestly, I know the menu better at Heidi Lau. Like, I feel yeah. more comfortable." Yeah. We're still hot pot. We learned about yeah. uh, hot pot. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what's funny? You know that feeling you said like when you're feeling all that gratitude, and it's like when you're working out and you're a little bit high, and all those thoughts come to you. The fucked up thing about my brain, I'm like, man, it feels like I'm rolling. Yeah, yeah. I no, it was it to a drug. It was honestly like that, bro. But I'm like, I'm wondering, like, because that is the most collective verbal way that everyone can understand that level of happiness. You know, yeah. if I said I'm so happy. Or you could just say like a runner's high. But a runner's I've high never, is I've not never the same. had that yeah, shit yeah, in my yeah. life. Yeah. <laughs> I've never had an ecstasy high or a runner's high, so I don't know what the fuck everybody you guys are talking said, about. Everybody said the runner's high hits after like three miles. And I tried to run like five miles consistently over a period of time. Never got the high. Not once. You have too much endurance. Bro, I can't even. You're, what, you're supposed to gas out first you, and then? Uh, when I got my runner's high, it was I ran two miles. And it was literally I had to stop after I think one and a half and puked. And then I ran and it was another five minutes. And then suddenly I was like. You could run forever? Oh, uh, yeah. You that's what that? it felt. It felt like I was fucking high on weed, bro. Whoa. And I was fucking just running to run. You think like it's because it's like the oxygen intake? You're just taking in so much oxygen you normally I wouldn't don't breathe even like know. that? Dude, I don't know, but everybody, all the men, all the cross country people are like, yeah, 
you know, I get it. I'm like, never gotten it. You guys don't feel like lightheaded, like you're gonna like die. I feel, I feel like like I can Whenever take over you the fucking out, you world. Feel yes, like well, literally. No, I, I wouldn't say I feel like that. Wait, like, yeah, call me fucking hot cheeto girl. But <laughs> when I was running the mile, I you're, didn't run it. The mile, I was yeah. walking the mile, but I no, I was mile. running in the beginning until the the coach couldn't see me anymore, and then I'd walk. My mile time was like eleven or twelve or something <laughs> like that. Damn. Um, <laughs> I was that odd kid. That I was just too competitive. You were if I saw like a girl like beating me, I was just like, "You can't beat me." <laughs> I let the fat kid beat me. <laughs> I don't care. What was you, what was your resolution this year? To keep a resolution. Uh, so I think this year I had a few. I'm trying to think. It was like right after my ayahuasca trip. I think one was like be be nicer to people. I think I failed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All, all of her faces like. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I've done that. I think in the beginning, in the beginning, I did that. Oh, he was great. Well, we should just put like ayahuasca on tap right by the water cooler. Like, have a little sip. <laughs> hey, you're being, you're being a little mean today. Yeah. But uh, but then the other big one was uh, to try to go celibate, and uh, gonna gonna come clean now. <laughs> so I was pretty good at the beginning of the year, to be honest. But then. Things have happened, and I have definitely not been very celibate. I would not uh, call myself celibate anymore. And uh, for me, it was like, whenever I think whenever it gets brought up on the podcast, I'm like, yeah, you know, I fucked up. And then we like glaze over it. But like, I do remember when I first started like preaching that I'm going to follow that lifestyle. I got a lot of messages, and even him, like, you know, a lot of people directly Changed. around me too started to immediately be like, you know what? Actually, I have those same afflictions. Like, let me. Let me attempt this as well. But then I think that me also like crumbling, right? Like makes people, if they see that I'm not even taking it seriously, then they themselves, I think, try to, not everyone, but like certain people may, may also not take it so seriously. And then, um, and yeah, I mean, all the reasons that I wanted to be celibate were still real. Mm -hmm. And um, and yeah, I fucked up. You drink hard seltzers? Because they're gross. Yes, they are. They got that weird aftertaste. Yes, they do. What if I told you we remove that completely? Mmm. Mm. Okay. Okay. You can have a little little sip. It's not gonna taste like a truly. Nope. Absolutely not. That's weird. What? Yeah. What are these? This is nectar. Asian flavors. Oh my god. Appreciate it. Thank you for supporting. When you talk about your uh, your goals and stuff, doesn't it sometimes kind of you backtrack a little? Like, you know how like sometimes people like to keep it secret, uh -huh. um, and then that keeps them motivated. It goes you, both you know ways. About? It goes both ways. Yeah. Sometimes by speaking it out loud, it's like okay. To me, I think goal setting. You have to have, an, especially a difficult one. You need somebody that will hold you accountable. Like you just, you, you can't do it alone. I know what you mean, though. Yeah, with you, with what you're talking about, I feel like it's more like move in silence. Yeah, it's that. It's like certain things I move in silence always. Like I don't. If I, w I'm not like, hey, everyone, I'm gonna start a supplement brand. It's yeah. gonna be the best. It's gonna yeah. blah blah. That's what most people do. Yeah. I don't say. I don't. I'm not saying anything until I've tangible things where I can tell you and ask you like if I need something you know until, until it's yeah. until it's real but with the other things like example this there's like a level of like I do need accountability mm -hmm. so I have to talk about it and then there's a level of it's a message that I I was proud to share with the world so yeah. I wanted to share it on on the platform and I think it, it was uh you know I got a lot of messages a lot of people resonate with it and then at the same time not everyone watches every episode, so they're not going to be like, oh, Wutok said in that one episode that he, he, he fumbled. But yeah, no, ultimately I met a, I met a girl that I, that I liked a lot, and we, uh, we talked, slash, we talked, we talked, we talked semi-seriously. Wait, 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 <laughs> who's and the then, girl? And then, uh, can I finish, man? Oh. <laughs> so we talked semi-seriously. And, you know, obviously that to me didn't feel like I was breaking the celibacy per se because it was like I had emotional connection with her. But then there was like situations that arose from her that um, where I was hurt. And then in my hurtness, I like reverted almost 100 percent, not all one, maybe like 80 percent back to like my old ways, I'd say. 83 percent back. Let's say 77. <laughs> 
Seventy-six. Seventy-five. Eighty-six on if tequila was involved. Seventy-two. If there's no alcohol involved, it's a zero. Okay. First of all, yeah. I have to Is be, it always I, alcohol? Yeah, my morals have to be low for, for me to... <laughs> that's crazy. Then maybe you should stop alcohol. Low-key, I have also thought about that. So that's something I don't know. L lately, I don't go out as much. I only go out when I feel that I must. Do you want to go out tonight? <laughs> nope. Oh. Wow. What? Wow. Got what? your ass. He's for real. No, I... What the fuck? Do I not go out less? Yeah, you do. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, that's for real. Yeah. Oh, what about when you're in New York? What you gonna do? Uh, well, Not go you know, out. I'm gonna I'm gonna go out because I want to see all my friends and like. Uh, liar, liar! Whoa! I'm just, I'm just, kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just invite like, them to do something wholesome, like come over to your house and play a board game. I'll have Ooh. a house out there. My your brother's, brother's house. My brother don't even go. I eat, I eat my lunch on his fucking. I sit in a chair and I eat on another chair. Oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't eat on a table. No, he has like a, a coffee table. No, actually, he doesn't. He still have a eats on the table. chair when there's a coffee. No, he table. doesn't have a coffee table because my bed goes in the area. My blow up mattress goes in the area that there would be a coffee table. Here nor there. Let's talk about you being a bad boy. Yeah. So. so so, so, okay, you, you failed. So I was, yeah, so that was, I think, my biggest goal for um, 2023. And, yeah, I mean, it my, like, it was only a like, couple months at a time, I'd say. But, hey, it's I'm okay. proud of myself. Yes, I mean, no, I, I'm not. <laughs> no, 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 but I'm not saying you should be proud of yourself that you attempted it and got that far. And also that you're willing to openly admit it. And yeah. are you going to try again? Uh, yeah, so that, I think that will be my... Two years in a row. Oh, yeah. Resolution. <laughs> Maybe 2025. Third time's a job. All you can think about is that meme is like, how ran through you gotta be to fucking go to celibacy. Oh. Oh. Fight him. Fuck you. Fight him. <laughs> Swing on him. That's so true, though. It's not called being ran through, Man. it's called being friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so, okay. Um, oh man! But anyways, yeah. So you, I, I met. I met. Uh, I'm just gonna say her name. Her name is Danny. I'm wearing her. I'm wearing her. Danny. A YouTube legend. I love her. Yes. She met. Whoa! You said okay. the word. Okay, let's calm down. Let's <laughs> calm down. I feel like she was everybody's first crush back. Mine the day. too. <laughs> so I was like, I'm winning right now. But uh, but yeah, no. I mean, when I met her, like, I actually like did like definitely fall for her very very hard, and then. When that when that drama stuff happened that um that I will not go into detail with, it definitely it made me like take a step back from her because I was like, oh, I've been so emotionally reliant on you that when this happened, it like completely destroyed me, and then that almost was like Satan in my ear being like this, like go go be bad, uh, go out right now, see what everyone wants to wait, do tonight. Can I ask a question? So, like, in that situation, why, like, when you felt like you were emotionally reliant, why did that make you want to, like, retract? Like, why is that a bad thing? Because it hurt because I got hurt because I was so emotionally reliant on her. I'm saying she did something oh, to, to hurt me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I got it. So, during yeah, that time, something confused. bad happened. Okay, I was Yeah, confused. something bad happened okay, okay, something that bad made me realize, wow, like, when I don't have you, like, I like my whole day was ruined. My uh, whole weekend was ruined. Like, I, like, it was hard to work. It was hard to do shit. And I'm like, holy fuck, like... This is like heartbreak yeah. level, like uh, just that like happens a lot in relationships. Turmoil. You become, yeah, you're right, too reliant, and like literally your whole day is yep. freaking busted. Yep. But does that not mean Ugh. you just deeply care about the person? Or I, do you I think did, that, I did, but yeah. like you know, her her fucking up was also like, but I, like I said, it was almost like my mind, like I rightfully I think retreated a little bit because I was like, oh, I'm falling like too, like we're like getting, we're moving a little too fast. I feel mm -hmm. like then it was like, okay, this happened. It destroyed me over the weekend while it was happening, and then um, and then I'm like, so I'm like, to protect myself, let me draw back. But in drawing back, you know, in in the line of work that we do, there is constant temptation. So it, it only takes like the slightest slip up, like replying to a DM, mm -hmm. to like suddenly have like a, a hot girl like an engaging conversation and like making what you feel you, good. What are you doing this weekend? Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna shoot a podcast with my friends, and then and then me and my boy are gonna go out. Like, <laughs> like, so yeah. You don't like this podcast or something? So, no, no. I'm just, I'm just saying that's how, that's how the conversations usually go. So, so then after that, just the floodgates open. Would you say it started okay. with one? I don't know if we need to say it like that. Oh my no, god! Like I just like maybe have hooked up with a few people since, but yeah. Back to fucking. No, but I'm saying no, you, man. Chill out. So when guys, the, be careful when you broke it, words. when you broke it the first time. Uh huh. 
the next day, how did you feel? Terrible. But then at that point, were you kind of just like, were you trying to get back? Like, I'm assuming you tried to say, okay, let me get back on the horse. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the first time I ever broke it, it was like, yeah, it was fucking, it felt shitty, but I was able to use that to like get back on the horse for a long time. But then this time when I broke it, like after I had been like, you know, emotionally involved with somebody and then decided to like hit the streets one more time, it was like almost like that same part of me that like used to be able to do that because it didn't need emotional connection was like almost like, you know what I'm saying? Like almost mm-hmm. like I had like mm-hmm. slathered concrete over like all the work I did to like fix my emotions. Uh-huh. Yeah. So then um, when you broke it again the second or the third time, Okay. Well, well. No, no, no. Let me finish. The fourth the thing. time, the fifth time. <laughs> no, 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 but whatever. At what point were you like? At what point were you like? All right, like this ain't working. I'm just. It's what do you mean? Not working. You are saying like what? I'm when giving did I, like, up. Give I'm, up. I'm giving up. I completely oh. give up. Um, I don't think I ever gave up like like that in my mind where I'm like, let me just fucking give up. Like on I don't give a this. fuck about it anymore. Yeah, it's like it's, it's like I will get back on this horse, but I've just like succumb to a life succumb uh. to the same lifestyle and it's tough like dude going on tour and shit like like partying like consistently like I, I party a lot less now but like there's always a reason to party you can always find a reason to yeah go. and it's like that's like when I first moved to LA I was like I'll just only go out when I have a reason to there's fucking a reason on every Monday Tuesday yeah. Wednesday Thursday so I'm like fuck hell no I can't do that so <laughs> Now I've taken it down to like almost like really have to like example, like Nick Grajeda's birthday. Mm -hmm. There's no, I'm not going to miss that. Right. Like, uh, like we have an event, not going to miss that. Like those types of things, like I'm not going to miss. It'd be funny if we just brought a cut out of you. (laughs) They're like, why isn't he moving? He's having a blast. He's just a little tired. (laughs) Do you think that you could stop? Sorry. Do you think that you could stop drinking for an event and like just have fun with that? No, no, I can't have fun without drinking. Look at this. That, and it sounds well, sad, way, yeah, yeah. dude. It sounds sad, but I just genuinely like. I'd rather just go home. No, I get it. Yeah. I get it. Um, and it fun. depends on what event. If all four of us are there and everyone around is my friends, yes, I could have fun without drinking. Yeah. But in, example, the club, <laughs> but I'd have more fun while it, drinking. It, uh, yeah, that's the issue. Is that I'm like, damn, I would love a drink right now. Actually, if I drink more, I could stay up late too. Yeah. I, it, I it's will energizing. fall asleep. Yeah. Yep. That's true. But uh, the club, I cannot be in that shit unless I'm drunk. It's way too low vibrational of a setting that I legitimately have to like sedate myself. To, like, I exist hate in it. the club sober. Yeah, it's like a great time if you're with the right people when you're drunk, but like sober, hell. Even if you're with the right people sober, it sucks. It sucks. Just the environment sucks. So like, exactly. Too loud to talk to people. You can't fucking do shit. Hell no. Fuck that shit. Yeah. Um. So, in the time where you were kind of like, damn, I'm failing on this. What kind of brought you back around? Where you were like, I really gotta kind of get back on the horse. Or what I'm doing is, you said you fell back into your old self. Was there a moment? Anything happened that kind of shocked you to really be like, me let me back. pay attention to this? Okay, I wouldn't say anything. So another one of my th- resolutions was to like be gentler, right? Like just kinder across the board. Um, I don't think I've been that way right <laughs> all the time. But um, I, I, me and Eddie had a fucking like a like a, an issue in San Diego. And then through through us like resolving it, like came out a lot of emotions like Eddie's obviously like a, a very close friend of mine. Yeah. But and like we have a lot of baggage together at this oh, point. Oh man. So much baggage. Yeah. But then yeah, so in that he said a lot of things to me that like woke me up a little bit cuz it came from a place of care and it was mm-hmm. like, you know, I feel like he basically was like, I feel like you're not there yet, but you could be going down a very dark path if like no one kind of like Checks you. Checks you, yeah. And he's like, I feel like a lot of people are, like, too scared to check you or, like, are unable to because of, like, the way you are. Like, you're, like, a little too aggressive and you're too good at arguing. So, like, some people <laughs> don't, want to, good at don't want to fucking... Uh. They don't want the beef, you know? And I get it. And then I'm like, oh, man. And then I was just like, damn, maybe I have created, like, an environment where I'm even unhelp- unhelpable, mm. you know? So I'm like... I felt that. I felt that very heavy. Yeah. Oh damn! No, no, no! I'm sorry, I'm so my, unhelpable. For no, 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 for myself, for myself. Sorry, I'm so unlovable to you, Jeremy. <laughs> yeah. Thank yeah, God I got Eddie. You're disgusting. <laughs> if I could wear a hazmat suit while I film this podcast, I would. Guys, I'm sick right now, by the way, too, and I'm still filming this shit. That's how dedicated I am. <laughs> 
always has to find a moment to just stroke <laughs> stroke himself off. <laughs> well, okay, so then that. First of all, I was dying this morning. I always like genuinely thought I was gonna die. Why would? You, why are you sick today, though? I don't know. I just fucking woke up, felt like a, a truck hit me. Damn. Really? But anyways, did you drink? No, I didn't. Oh, I did drink. Ah. <laughs> I did drink, uh, but not like got not went out to get drunk. Like I had a bottle of wine at dinner with. Bottle of wine. Yeah. With, yeah. Two shots of vodka. <laughs> I'm no, spiking no. My wine. I know alcohol doesn't do anything to you. <laughs> Wait, so, so um, that that incident happened, and then now what? Like, what's and yeah, and then so you know, I've I think I've been a lot more, and and you know, I understand. And to me, I've always understood that these dark energies that I've like ex- I, I constantly accept into my life, like whether it's like binge partying or sleeping around or what or any of those things, right? Like a lot of my like like negative traits manifest from constant acceptance of that example girls this was like a realization i had if i'm constantly talking to multiple women and it inflates my it absolutely inflates your ego as a man like then the way i treat random people might get worse because my ego is being inflated by xyz you know what I mean? And it's, and it's not even like intentional. It just slowly starts to creep into like, like a spider web starts to like creep into other parts of my life Yeah. where it's like, I don't mean to like maybe be snappy about like demands or like comebacks or whatever, but I am just like, just because of like this underlying subconscious like feeling of like inflated ego or whatever. And that's just one example, right? Like, yeah. So, mm. so then that, that, the, so I always, that's why I was like, that's part of the reasons why I was like, yeah, celibacy is the wave. And not just celibacy, but like trying to like stop talking to girls too. Mm-hmm. That part's way harder because you'd be, you be lonely. Digitally, yeah. You'd be lonely as hell. What are you going to do in order to s- like s- start again? Because there needs to be like actions, you know? Yeah, I just bought a chastity belt. And, uh, <laughs> and only one person's going to have the code and it's Vit. So if <laughs> it's not, not there, I can't fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust him. <laughs> he's opening up. He's yeah. like, no, she's bad. Yeah. <laughs> Open that shit up. <laughs> Telling her the code. <laughs> one, one, four, four. <laughs> and the code would be just zero, zero, zero. <laughs> <laughs> he forgets the code. <laughs> he's like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's my wedding day. I'm like, man, I'm ready. He's like, I forgot that shit, bro. It's been 10 years. <laughs> So no, yeah, chastity, real, you bought chastity belt. I did not actually buy a chastity belt. That's <laughs> crazy. You should. You should. <laughs> You're gonna try not to go out less, maybe. No, no, or? I already go out less. Like, so that one's not. Honestly, I, th- I think just like at my age, like that one wasn't that hard. Like, I don't. I no longer crave like going to the club just because it's Saturday and we have enough people to do so. Like, I don't. I don't give uh-huh. a fuck anymore. And um. And I think work has gotten to a point where I'm just busier too, where I'm like, damn, I really could use these seven hours right now to, to do other shit. Um, I think like, it's like, I don't know. Cause like I tried it once and it was so, it was such a, like a cold Turkey approach of like, just don't do anything. Don't, you know what I mean? And it, and like it, it clearly didn't work out that well. Wait, so, so you're, you don't want to do cold Turkey. No, it's not that I don't want to do cold turkey, but it was like a go from how I was living to like, don't even talk to women. Like I'm at the club. Uh-huh. Girls are talking to me like, go away, like type, type, like, like scared of like the uh-huh. repercussions. And then, um, and I don't think that worked. So I don't know. I, I have to work it out. I think Jeremy was uh, onto something with an accountability partner. Mm-hmm. You can't do it you alone. Know, going to church more. Yeah. You just, you, you just can't do it alone. No yeah. matter how much church. you think just, uh, yeah, it's like, People fail all the time unless, like, you just can't do it alone. Yeah. That's my, my I feel you, line. though. I have an addiction to Mexican candy. And I feel very bad after I tell myself I'm not going to have it. But then I, <laughs> uh, but, but then I see my Amazon package and it's Mexican candy. <laughs> You're ordering that shit online. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> it just appeared. Yo, she, she orders that shit, blacks out, wakes up, like... <laughs> What, what like, happened? How did you get here? I'm imagining her like on the bed with wrappers all around. Like in the same way you would think of like a stereotypical like alcoholic scenario. Just or with I'm, beer bottles everywhere, but it's just Mexican candy and she's I'm, like distraught. Like, oh. Or I'm imagining that scene in Scarface and it's a pile of tahini. And she's just like... <laughs> <sighs> 
gumming it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the thing is, I also have like a huge bottle of tahini, right? And it's zero calories. Can you believe that? It's zero calories for the <laughs> serving size. Yeah. What? Actually, it's sodium. It could it's, it could be zero calories. Yeah, right? yeah, it's yeah, zero it's sodium, calories. Yeah. But it's heavy sodium. It's a lot of sodium. And you know what I do? So if I have something healthy, like I have grapes, I'm just like, why don't I spruce it up with some tahini, right? And then it's just like, grapes are healthy. Tahini is also zero calories. And I'm just like, just a little bit. Yeah, it's but not bad. But eventually, so what I do is that I have like, let's just say 10 grapes, right? I put a whole bunch of tahini on there. And then if I finish the grapes before uh, there's still tahini, I'll get more grapes. But if I still have grapes, no tahini, I'll add more. And it just keeps going on until I am, they're both gone. <laughs> Until you're passed out and you wake up. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> She's got what a for that? real problem. For real problem. That's hilarious. Dude, it's, just, it's funny the difference in our problems. She's in. <laughs> no, but, but I, that's but how I she's do, relating it. But I do, you're speaking but to I her. I do feel you. I do feel you. Like people you. at the meet and greet were constantly all I got was Mexican candy. Yeah, they be they be feeding your addiction too. You, you don't understand all the leftover snacks she collected. All of it. Oh, all I, know, the I, know. Oh, I know. She took mine. Oh, yeah, all Wait, of them. Because you because guys I are said busy. You could. No, yeah, I figure you'll take it. That's why I just leave it in that pile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, I know it's not going to waste. I love it. Thank you guys so much. I don't know, man. I think sex is okay in moderation. <laughs> there's, there's, there's the key. Yeah, it's not the sex in it in it of itself is bad. It's sex with people I don't have emotional connection with. So that's what I'm trying. I to... I think that's okay in moderation. But it's not yeah, one or two times a year. I, th I think that at the point, it's maybe in moderation if you are like you haven't ever really done that and you're trying to. You're like, maybe I want to try it out. Develop a skill. Maybe. Yeah. But it's such a waste of time. I agree. That is another, energy, it's another humongous you know I mean? waste of time. Humongous waste of energy. Uh, uh, it's against, it's against the Lord. I think over time, like, even if you remove religion out of it, just, like, aimless sex, even if both people are like, yeah, this is cool, it's just, like, it's still a very, like, intimate thing. And, all, like, it's always why Friends of Benefits don't work out because somebody always catches feelings. Oh, yeah, of course. Some no, I'm just thinking about, like, like... There's been a few times I, I've had one night stands and <coughs> I had fun and it's just I enjoy it for what it is. It's a one night stand. I had fun that night and I'll move on with my life just like she'll move on with her life. It's a fun memory. So, I mean, the, when I when I did ayahuasca, I saw like every soul tie I created <laughs> when I had sex and like being like, damn, I don't even really know you. You know what I mean? Like and I did the action of so, an action that's so powerful it can create life. And we, we and we shared that, and like soul taught, like you know, you ever have like sex flashbacks, like random flashbacks, oh. to like, yeah. Just, oh. <laughs> well, like, like his you know, willy, his willy starts glowing. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, bro. But like, yeah, like just the thought of that, like it's it is such an intimate, such a vulnerable act. And another thought is that as we are growing in success, my viewership, all yep. these things, right. The downfall of like everyone is like some sexual allegation, even just the allegation, even if they mm. even if it wasn't done right, just somebody being like this guy did this in, in the bedroom, mm -hmm. even if it's like consensual, even if they're just like the guy likes to get pegged mm -hmm. like that shit is fucking career destroying. Right. And it's do you always, like to get pegged. That's why no. we got to come out in front. I yeah. do like to get pegged. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hurt me if I tell you myself. That is true. It's true, but no, I don't. I'm finger just... up my ass. <laughs> Everyone in the fourth grade, yes, I did what? get held back. Oh, my God. <laughs> that shit still bothers her. <laughs> no, I feel great. I told them everything. But no, I, I do understand that aspect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, you know, and and allowing that vulnerability to, to people that I didn't even, like, take the time to, like, connect with is that's what I wanted to remove from my life. Not like never have sex again. Like that's why I like, you know, Danny, I don't like regret her in the slightest because it was like. Are you guys actually like I, I think that's yeah. what I meant when I, when I said that one night stand shit. It's like we did connect on a certain level to where I was like, I like you enough for a one night stand. <laughs> okay, well, that, that's what, <laughs> listen, I'm not fucking yeah. girls I don't like. What the <laughs> fuck? Yeah, I sit there and I'm like, damn, you're hot and interesting and cool. You, you like tequila? Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I have Shared a question. Interest. Yes. Would you guys ever actually wife up or make someone a girlfriend if you guys, if you fucked her the first night you met her? It would take a lot of her proving that she's not like that. At this point in my life, probably not. But, but the first, it is possible. I don't think everyone okay. should think uh, like that. Yeah. But it's like more of a me thing as well. Like it's like my, 
like I've broken that part of my brain almost. Okay. But my the first girl I ever fell in love with, we 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 had sex the first night and mm. I fell in love with her. Yeah. So. yeah. I mean, I I think it's possible, but I I heard of a situation where they did fuck the first night and he did like make her make her his girlfriend, but then now it plays over and over like how she yeah, yeah, yeah. did fuck him the first night. That's that's like, who else have you let hit on the yeah, first night? Yeah. Huh? That's overthinking it. My you think opinion. so? What yeah. About you? But it's rec- re- retroactive jealousy is a thing. It's not yeah. a good thing, but it's yeah, a thing. yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. But it's like okay, whatever body count is like seven. It's like okay, it's low. Yeah. You just like I don't believe in body counts. <laughs> yeah. He stopped counting after twenty five. I how, how do you it's not true. though? Because to me, it's like if it's at a certain number, it's like you you give yourself that up up that easily to anybody. I was lying. I do. <laughs> <laughs> now what? <laughs> uh, yeah. Just a feminist. It's just um, impossible <laughs> to argue it. Like, hey, <laughs> but Wu Talk, I know this is a heavy conversation, and yeah. maybe there's something that could light your mood. Ian has a little surprise for you. Uh, do you actually? What's the surprise? A third camera. What's a third camera? He bought you a camera. Uh, what the fuck is a third camera? Nah, I'm just joking. What is this? Now you get it. Condoms. That was what his is it? way of saying like, oh, don't forget to so, do this. Oh. Uh, okay. Ooh, oh, that was fresh. Ian's first time on camera. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. He's been on camera oh. before. He, it's candy. Um, what am I doing? So, uh, this Talking is like a him. holiday. This is like a holiday slash Didn't thanking him for the gifts. internship gift. But Aww. if you uh, if you don't know, I don't uh, know if you ever talked about this on the podcast, but Wutok is, I mean, we all know he's like kind of a health nut and he takes his water very seriously. Mm. And when you're mm-hmm. in his house and if you drink purified water or anything like that, he'll like Scold yell you. at you. Yeah. So my mom was telling me about this product that she found and it's these trace minerals and you can put it in purified water and it basically turns it into spring water because that's what spring water has Whoa. that purified water does not have. And so I was like, oh, this is perfect because Butok goes out to eat a lot and he like all the time he's, you know, in situations where he's drinking purified water. So... I got him that, and then also I got these like little squirt bottles that you could like clip onto your uh-huh. keychain, so that way you don't have to bring the whole bottle with you everywhere hey. you go. Oh, that's so very Ian's thoughtful. like, Ian's like, so now you can shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like, hey, honestly, Ian, that's so cute, water. man. Holy shit. Oh, that is very, very thoughtful. Super thoughtful. Holy fuck. Thank you, Ian. Wow. That's that's actually. What, you were saying third camera. All this hey, whole can no, we no, try it the out? Whole time, the whole time, he's like, hey, I have a gift, and I, and he's like, just, and I was like, oh, remind. <laughs> you should tweak out. <laughs> Get out, Ian. Um, and so that was like our that was our code word. And then Vic kept like bringing it up. I was like, shut the fuck up. Wait, what was, it? What was it? He's like, what's the third camera? Yeah. I don't uh, like surprises. That's what it was. That's yeah. so fucking cool, honestly. I w- I wanted to. I Can was I about that? to say yeah. like, there's no so third are, camera. What are in trace minerals? Let's see. This is trace minerals. Concentrated trace mineral drops is an all natural concentrated complex of a full spectrum naturally occurring ionic trace minerals that's made using constant. Yeah, flow. The audience loves this. <laughs> <laughs> This guy's reading the ingredient list of a trace mineral. Ingredients. No, listen to this. This is crazy. Yep. Ingredients. <laughs> ingredients. Whale semen. What the Look, hell? He tried to be funny for you. No, it, it's a concept. It's always something like no, cum listen, related or look, dick related. I've never hidden that. I only I have one joke style. <laughs> Concentrated that. seawater. Give me that. Back. That's the ingredient. Oh, really? Wait, can cool. we try it? Does it does it taste different? Um, I mean, yeah, but I guess you, you could try it with water the and then Let, let's it. let's not let's save that for. I don't know try it, it no, no, but I don't think it sanitizes. It just adds the minerals you need. Yeah, it's, it, that's exactly what it does. I know, but I'm saying I wouldn't drink sink water. All right, sink well, sink water still got all that. Don't worry about it, man. We don't have to. So try you it would right now. you would drink purified water, of this filtered is like water, being and then at a, add yeah, yeah, the being at a mineral. restaurant, they give you filtered uh, tap, and then you, you would add the minerals so that you're drinking technically like spring water. Or you mineral. think that will help you in not having sex? <laughs> what? <laughs> I feel like we're just... Yeah, actually, I think if <laughs> they see that on my keychain... super, like, out of place. If I just squirt it at them every time they approach, like, get back. <laughs> but yeah, so how are you gonna how are you gonna tackle this? I don't know, man. Okay. I need help. It's okay to say that. Come to church. Just don't let anyone <laughs> touch me anymore. I like the chastity belt idea. <laughs> we'll get you a good one. How do I go pee if I have a chastity belt? Uh, you just... There's a hole. Yeah, there's a hole. But then what if... Can I not use that hole for... No, so basically it's just like a holster and then it goes through and there's a little like opening. Just How do you for the wash pee? yourself if you have a chastity belt? Shower. Just shower through it. <laughs> shower. Yeah, it's got holes through it so the water runs I would, through. I would like a different. 
I think I just have to find a girlfriend. No, no, no. It's a, it's a B.B. Simon chastity belt. Oh, <laughs> shit. He's flexing it. We're going to have to get matching ones. <laughs> <laughs> B.B. Simon chastity belt. Like pulling up his skirt, showing it to everyone. <laughs> a skirt? <laughs> what? How would you wear pants with a chastity belt? It's like a big metal device. Oh. Uh, I don't know. You'd have, to wear, you'd wearing have wearing to wear elastic clothing. No, he already wears like pretty loose clothes. Pants though. Oh, yeah, look. Yeah. Under. I don't wear fucking yeah. skinny jeans like you, buddy. What's the next thing? Dweeb. Um, so <laughs> it's just like not related to this at all. <laughs> are we done with this? Yeah, what are we? Is there anything oh. else you wanted to ask? What is my New Year's? Did you go oh, over your New Year's resolution this year? I didn't year? have a New Year's resolution. Neither did you. Oh, yeah. What's What's your so, what is resolution? yours? Just celibacy again? Yeah. But what I'll... are some other ones? Another one? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, last year, oh. actually, I had goals for Super Bonsai, and I think we're crushing all of them. So, nice. Super Bonsai has been doing very well. And that leads me to close lining you with this ad right now <laughs> Super is... Recovery by Super Bonsai. <laughs> It's, uh, you guys have heard me talk about this a trillion billion times, but it is my alcohol recovery supplement. It uses completely natural ingredients that are well researched. We had a team of doctors formulate the most, uh, what? Nothing. I was just looking at my feed, but the, he looked at me and now I'm shy. That nasty. That's gross. But why? Mid ad, you gonna look <laughs> at your feet? No, because the camera will point at you, not Damn. me. Damn. But anyways. <laughs> We have tons. It's been out for a while. We have tons of reviews. The word is in. The shit not only works, but it is great. It probably, I'm pretty sure it's the only completely natural solution on the market, as well as, in my opinion, the one that works the best. And I've tried a lot of them. Yes. Facts. So uh, you can get yours. Link in description. 20% off with your phone number. Very cute. I got it all. F- I got it for my all my friends Did you for actually? Christmas. Yes. Nice. I would have just sent you some. I'm actually well, I will re- be returning. <laughs> no, okay, okay. <laughs> no, 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 too late. We want organic reviews. Yeah, yeah. me and my co-founder. Yes. Oh, <laughs> that's happening. Yeah, it's official. I got brought in. Yeah. Nice. Wait, really? You brought in the best of the oh. best. <laughs> the best of the best. Yeah, a real shark. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, ah. <laughs> hey there, sharks. <laughs> Um, <laughs> as you can see, Grr. this is still very new. Look at this beautiful packaging right here, designed by a robot. If you are sick of all the disgusting hard seltzer and those RTDs that don't taste like nothing, we made the Paradise Pack. This is nectar hard seltzer, unique Asian flavors, no weird aftertaste. Four scrumptious flavors: Lee Hing pineapple, mango, melon, passion fruit, orange, guava, green grape. And this is voted by you all. Yep. Sweet, delicious, bold, crisp, yummy. Um, get yourself a pack. Link in description. Six dates. And if we're not in your state, text us. Number is in the description. We will come to your city. You guys have seen us throw the parties. We do the meet and greets. Text us. Scratch the parties. Wu Talk is celibate now. We will do a uh, something else more wholesome, like a midnight hike. Yeah, I like that idea. Wait, with everybody? Yeah. That's possible? Hundreds of thousands of people. We'll like raid a city or something. <laughs> raid a city and raid. We will take down Rome. We, yeah. we ride at dawn. Yeah, we all fire. have staffs. Dude, it would be kind of fire to like, just like rent out a massive field in a giant paintball war. Oh, oh that'd be fun. Dude, even Actually, just- I wouldn't play with him. He cheats. <laughs> Dirty cheater. I didn't realize that. You know, I will admit that was, that was shitty. But I walked <laughs> off. I walked off. <laughs> I walked off because I was out of bullets. And then somebody was like, I'm done. I don't want my bullets. I said, you want them? I'm like, hell yeah, I want those bullets. So they dumped their bullets into my gun. And then I'm walking back. I'm like, how can I not? He walks back behind us when we're all focused the other way. But that's because we could have shot I, him like so many times when we did we, it. Yeah, because he would be like, "I'm out, I'm out," and I'd be like, "Okay, fine." But I was out on the way back. I understand you did, you gotta that. Be like, I'm back in. I yeah. did, but he, no one he heard me. Runs. He went like this. <laughs> no, no, I, I said, I'm. Y'all were focused on the war at hand. No shit, you didn't hear me. Oh my god. Because dirty we, rat. Dead people don't come back alive. I, we, I get that part, and that's to. why I'm like, you know, you, you, were, you did have your backs towards me. Because <laughs> <laughs> it would Dude, be fucked oh, up for us to you shoot you crazy? when you're out. You guys want to see some crazy? Yeah. I still have the. the you really? still are bruised? Oh, you oh, do. What the fuck? Still, yeah. It's still on my leg. It's still on my leg. You keep your hands to yourself. What the what hell? The nice ass, that? baby. Hey, but I still have the marks on my my leg too. Damn, you bruised like a fucking summer peach. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's a good. He bruised like a summer peach. 
That was so Iowa of you. <laughs> I could, I could, I could never do BDSM. It would on my body, be stuck on me forever. Yeah, you're like, are you? Were you always like kind of like a fragile, like bubble boy type guy? In terms of sickness, like ear infections and like colds, yes. What about bruises? Uh, I like just. I mean, I was just like a clumsy person, so a lot of scars and shit. But not necessarily bruises. Can the I paintball see fucked me up. Yeah. Hey, is this the first episode we've recorded since the LA San Diego parties? Yeah. yeah. Yo, I fell off the subwoofer at the fucking LA party. No, no, no. We already filmed after the LA party. Oh, but did we didn't film after San that? Diego. Yeah. Did I say I did no, that? No, you I fell off the I fucking <gasps> fell off. I saw it in the video. Really? We filmed yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a second. Wait a second. Uh, you, have, you have that on video? No, no, because it's in the video with, with Warren shot from the back. And all of a sudden you just... Disappear <laughs> and you and you see Vet like looking off. I don't even remember seeing that. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what do you mean? Video. By the time I you forget. looked, I was just regular on the ground. Yeah. Wait, you fell off what? Bro, you know how I was standing on the speaker, like turning up the, with Vit? The tall ass speaker. Tall ass speaker. You were up there? Yeah. yeah. And that shit is like probably five feet above the ground. <laughs> and then I was just dancing, I guess. And then all I remember is just like I step. <laughs> and you fell on your like No, back? and then there was like a girl there and I completely destroyed her. <laughs> then, You're lying. Yeah. And then she DM'd me later and was like, I lost my vape because of you. You owe me a vape. And I'm like, hey man, I almost died. Like I'm not worried about your vape. But she literally took the fall? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She and broke his fall. She broke my fall. <laughs> she broke, yeah, she... <laughs> she caught me. <laughs> and, and she said, I lost my vape because you, you're like, oh, well, I almost yeah. died. That's what yeah. you said? Yeah, she almost died. <laughs> what are you talking about? But, like, look, I said that to her because I didn't realize that I felt on her. <laughs> and then she was like, oh, you almost died. I almost died. <laughs> oh, God. I forgot about that. I'll find That's the video. Crazy. I was I was watching it. I, I was like, I was like, did he jump off? You just like yeah. disappear. <laughs> so Apology with tears. It's so funny. Sorry, Michelle. <laughs> with oh. tears. Um, <laughs> when you guys go on like when you guys go on a date now with now with the internet when you guys go on a date how much research do you do beforehand and be honest. Oof. Oh. Not with the internet. What? No. no now now, with, with, the now with the internet. Oh. Okay. And you I got platforms like, like LinkedIn, Instagram. This guy like doesn't have a LinkedIn, dog. No, what? Man. Uh, I normally look up their name to see if they have an OnlyFans. Yep. Um, oh. If they do, then I'll look their name up on Reddit. Let me explain. Just kidding, just kidding. No, 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 no
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she had a secret boyfriend. Yep. That's crazy. So, also, I, she's a cheater. I, she's a cheater, exactly. I thought he was about to be like, you read the captions, I learned a lot. It said, live, laugh, love. <laughs> Super interesting. So when I was on the date, you know, I was like, you know, I really like to live, laugh, and love. Yeah. Like, oh my God, me too. Wait, do you, Jeremy? Like, go. Stalk? Yeah. Nah. Lazy. I you also, don't? I, I, actually, 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 professionally, I will stock. Professionally? What do you like mean? Like if it's like an investor. Oh, like, oh, true. Uh, true. Of course. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, go look at your LinkedIn. You absolutely yeah. have to. You can't take money from somebody that you're not like thoroughly fucking yeah. investigating. But I, I want to know, I know girls take it to another 100%. level. 100%. I am the professional. Yeah, yeah. Tell, <laughs> tell us, tell us, do you have like a system like uh, you're going through things? Yes. Like, First of all, I put on my reading glasses because <laughs> with my contact lenses get too dry because I'm on the computer for hours and hours. <laughs> Not even blinking. <laughs> I can imagine. I go through Printing every shit single out, string on yarn. Like every <laughs> single one of their followers. And, what their, is and, one? Their, and who they're following. What You're if lying. I have a hundred thousand? We have a, like, uh, there's hundreds of thousands of followers. Oh, I have all night, baby. <laughs> that's fucking all crazy. All night just scrolling. Th that's why I have to put my reading glasses on. But duh. what are you going through their followers for? Okay, followers? Uh -huh. I don't know, to see if like weirdos follow them. They don't have any control over that. <laughs> what, if they have yeah, a lot of, what if they have a lot of followers? You go through all. What, what's the pace? Yeah. Are you going like, or are you just kind of skimming? So, first of all, I open my eyes real wide. Wait, but I don't even understand how going through followers helps. I don't know. Just do it. <laughs> it's just a waste I, I go, time. I have time. I, I go through their following to yeah, see. Yeah, following. I, I do followers too. And normally I can tell, like, if they're following all of my promoted friends, so, like, you probably go out a lot. Yeah. They're following, like, other exactly. creators. Like, it, it all depends on who they're following. That's a big one. That's a big key in is going through following lists. Mm, here's a, here's good a tip. Here's a funny one from, like, so after Eddie started coming on the show and stuff, right, he'll, like, get girls that follow him now because they think he's cute or whatever. But then he says a deal breaker for him is when he checks their following list and they're following him or me. No, 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 no. I have a funny thing. So, I'm the same way though. If they're following Vin, I'm like, no, nah. no, no, no. It's even funnier. He's already even, slid on them. No, it's even no, funnier. No, no, no. If, there were, if there were girls that were like following me or whatever and I'd click on the profile, it'd be like Wu Talk bar, followed by Bar Chemistry. I'm like, Wu Talk's been here. Followed by Bar Chemistry Vit Trap. They're fighting over this one. <laughs> like, I'm just like, no, I don't you just, know. You just be checking random profiles like that? No, I'm just saying in the past. <laughs> in the past, back yeah. in the day. And what do you even care? Yeah. I'm in love with him. Uh, of course, I checked all of his all following. Right, all right, so what else do you do? That's the followers and following. The following one is interesting. I don't but do the followers. Followers is crazy. crazy. If, if even a, even 5,000 followers, that's a lot of fucking people. Easy I know. Peasy. I've gone through it before. Easy peasy. <laughs> and I know, I know uh, some people have accounts where they it's not updated. So you're able to see who, ha who the, the most recent followers followings were. Oh, that's the worst when they snitch yeah, on you. And it literally has every single people like in order they, of, in order of the latest. when yeah the latest. Wait, that's still a thing? Yeah. On no, no, some accounts. No, not yeah on some oh, accounts. Yeah. Which I hold dearly. <laughs> and then I also love that shit. Yeah, exactly. It, it gets people into trouble and I like it that. Does. Wow, so the following list is the most interesting. The following list is probably I mean, the most OP hack of stalking on I mean Instagram. that was also new though reading the captions. Reading the ca the comments are more important than the captions, to be honest. The and comments. Yeah. So you just go to Instagram. You don't then look for their Twitter. Or like, if they have it readily available, I'm not trying to do too much digging, to be honest. So I it's just Instagram. And then if they have a TikTok, I will go on their TikTok because ah, people yeah. will definitely say a lot on TikTok. Mm. Yep. What else do you do? Oh, uh, shit. What's that? What's that? <sighs> Was I don't do this anymore. <laughs> so but what's that thing called when you look through their window when they're sleeping? <laughs> yeah. That no, one. What, is, what is that? What is that? What is that thing where they? Uh, what's that thing where you pay for a fucking is background it, what check? Is, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> what is that photo? What is that photo album thing where you hire someone to follow? Them? Wait, what is that photo album thing that everyone used to do back in the day? What, what? do you mean? Visco. Oh, Visco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I checked that shit. Oh yeah, they, Cause, that shit is so funny to me because somebody will have a private Instagram with a Visco link. Yeah. But buddy, if you're if you're pursuing a man with a vis code, he, he likes just men. Just in case, just in case, <laughs> just in case. Oh, but I also stalk their exes. Visco. Oh. Just to see because I'm like, oh, is it like really over? Like when did they date? You know, shit like that. I like to go deep. deep. Damn. Hey, my my uh She got too much time on her friend hands. Friend I know. It's true. A friend I know who was essentially dating two girls at once that knew about each other but hated each other. That he they used to well, they had each 
I don't. I think they had each other blocked on Instagram, and then they were both like, whoever he was like, the guy was a mess, and whoever he was like with the mo- most at the time would like make him block the other girl, right? And then like just this crazy like that is silent. The most like, language, insane. yeah. And then and then the way they would talk shit to each other was on Visco. So they would <laughs> up because they'd be blocked from each other, right? So they would post like a screenshot of his text messages to her, and it's like. I love you. She she don't mean nothing to me. Not that, that type of shit. Screenshot. Upload to Visco. That bitch sees it. And then the next time he's over at her place, it's like a picture of them like what's cuddled in a mirror. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck are you yeah. doing? Dude, what's crazy is that he comes over. She's mad at him probably. You were with that bitch. All right. Like, let's take this photo. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? That's- yeah, that, man, that man was fleecing. But just letting you guys know, I don't do that anymore. I don't. What, stalk people? Huh? Stalk people? Yeah, I don't stalk people like that no more. Lies. That shit is fun. No, it it, it it is fun. But then I'm just like, man, everybody has a past. I have a past. Has your digital footprint ever like actually bitten you in the ass? Oh, in I mean, any way every, that was every like every day. Every day it does. No. I say everything <laughs> and I and I post everything <laughs> that I'm okay with. I have a lot of girls asking me if I was actually in love with Maru or not. <laughs> I had one that was like, I don't want to do anything with you in case Maru. Or did she, she was like, didn't you used to have a crush on Maru? I'm like, no, bro. He's like, yeah. I still do. I get a lot of, uh, you're a slut. <laughs> <laughs> so how, what's your actual body count? Oh, that, I get that all the time. How um, viral did that clip go? Bro, There's every time it's posted, it goes, any tiny yeah. mention of it, it goes extremely viral. And then, the, and then I was talking to this one girl, and she was like, how come every clip I see of you, someone's making fun of you for your body count? I was like, well, I, I, I don't know. I slept. <laughs> Stammering. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I mean, I feel like, obviously, you guys blow it out of proportion, but like, yeah. Do we, though? Yeah, you do. We do. You do. We do. <laughs> My life is being ruined, guys. It's not come nearly on. nearly 700. Yeah, it's not 700. No. Anyways. Yeah, that's basically all I do. Check for mutuals. <laughs> ask the mutuals. I was, the I, was reading, I was looking at him. I was, like, what I was reading, reading it out loud. And I, well, I was like, what the? I'm going to read it out loud and tell me if it makes sense. What? What should you know and what should you leave for the date? <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> oh, that's in terms of stalking. Oh, what do you want oh. to know? So it, before oh. a date, what do you, oh, what do you yeah. want to figure out for yourself? So before a date, what do you want to figure out for yourself? And what do you want to leave to find out during the uh, date? That's good. I like mean, yours was good. Like if they're in a relationship. Yeah, ship, yeah, or doing yeah. Anything I'd like to know if you're a sneaky. cheater and you have a boyfriend and Has you're that, cheating on him. Have you caught that multiple times or just that oh, person? All the fucking really? time. Really? Yeah. God, that is Wh- terrible. Women are you shameless. Too? I don't take girls out on dates. So. Oh. Yeah. The only thing that I want to know now is whether or not they follow like girls that are just like not following them back. Oh, that's so that, embarrassing. Yeah, but yeah. other than that, I don't want to know their Why exes. I don't know. I don't want to know like their sexual histories. I don't want to know any of that. I'd rather. Yeah, you that's don't, gonna you don't drive think that's me embarrassing? crazy. What you following a bunch of just like IG girls that that don't follow you back? Yeah. I follow Dua Lipa. I follow. Okay. That's like celebrities. No, but honestly, I'm not going to lie. When when you have like a big following like that and then you have like, you know, you're following like certain people, then that's cool. But there's some guys that have like 320 friends, but then they're following like 4,000 like Insta models. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, when it's that's weird. Ex- well, that's, that's the what, extreme case. Yeah, yeah, but I'm just saying, yeah, like yeah. I'm just giving him an and example. And I, I totally, that. I think it's totally valid when girls find it unattractive when guys follow random Instagram models. Like yeah. why, why are you just programming your mind like that you know what i mean like maybe one day they'll follow me back (laughs) (laughs) i got a crazy story so um i have a a friend group and one day you're in a friend group i pay them other than us i pay them okay because i'm lonely (laughs) so all you guys do is drink and chase after women they chase us um but this is a crazy ass story so i have a i have a friend group and uh one day one of the guys is like you know blah blah blah's dad he has a Twitter, and I was like, so? And he pulls up the Twitter, oh, and the dad yeah. is commenting under OnlyFans. You know how Twitter's way wilder? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Twitter doesn't have censorship, and it'll be, a, it'll be a girl, like, she's obviously in a bikini, and it's like football in the back. She's going after, like, you know, the 60-year-old, like, you know, white male in America. Yeah. And it's like, who's coming over to bend me over <laughs> on, like, 
NFL Sunday. Ugh. And the dad is in the comment like, I will. <laughs> hard eyes, hard eyes, hard eyes. And when you go, I don't know if he doesn't really, he's married, he has oh, kids. And no. all of the friends, so the daughter is in the friend group. All of us know except her. Oh. All of us know. Except Are her. you sure she doesn't know though? Dude, oh. dude. And here's the crazy thing. He's got a wife. Oh. Yeah, that's And, and, and here's where it gets crazier. It's the whole feed. The whole feed. And it's like, and it's funny because it's like you can see the three or four girls that he really wants. He's like, can't wait to see you in the weather. It's like, wow. It's it's like the word. It's like, you look hot in that out- outfit. I would love to like spend money on you. It's just like, oh my God. Jesus. And then they see him at like, you know, fam friend weddings and like when they go back home, they see him. It's just like, oh, you're a horn dog, my guy. I bet he hits on uh his his girlfriends too, right? Probably. Yeah. Or her girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. You're talking about his oh, daughter's sorry, girlfriends. Her, yeah. Yeah. Her yeah. Girlfriend. But like, okay, okay, so what do you do in that situation? I don't know, dude. Yeah, do you tell do you tell her? I think I uh, it's dude, I was scrolling through the feed, I was like, this is Insane. I think but I would get secondhand It's looking worse embarrassed that everyone though. knows and is talking about it behind her back. Yeah, that's, I know. That's secondhand embarrass- yeah. embarrassment. One of our, for me. One of one of the friends followed him too. Oh. And he knows he like so. I don't know if the dad knows. He doesn't that know that that shit is public. public. He does oh not know. Oh my so goodness. Fucking wild. That's so embarrassing and so fucking gross. Yeah, I feel like a girl has to tell her. Yeah. You can't come from a man. I would tell the dad. Hey, Mr. Smith, uh, just letting you know that we can see what you're posting. <laughs> what, uh, whatever he's responding, he's like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, I That'd think. Be hard. I'd be like, you better like, delete you it before. It that point. <laughs> I'm going to start threatening him. Like, I'm going to show this to, to Cassidy if you don't stop. <laughs> yeah, low key, hey, man, stop before I show your daughter that yeah. you're a horny Or the mom. Ooh, no, as, as like a fake, with a fake username. I would do that. Ooh. I would do that. I think that's the only way to do it. Hmm. Bro, that just fucking grossed me out. That's so sad, though. That's the past. You're so going down. Hey, Hell no. He's, I'll he, never. he's literally. I got- don't even like girls' Instagram posts because I don't want it to say liked by me. Exactly. Yeah. So then, when, when you do your hey, but, but when you Report. do your three like strategy, <laughs> when you do your three like strategy, you go back later and you unlike. Them. I don't do that anymore either. Oh. I, I haven't done that three like strategy in a long time. Oh, I think a- it I think it works for people, but like I just don't fucking do that. Yes, raising your hand in the back, sir, in the in the seventh row. Uh, you were just leaning off camera. Oh my bad. Oh yeah, yeah. correct your correct yourself. If there's another thing I do now. So when I go to a guy's page, I see the girl that they're following, and then I go through that girl's uh, pictures, and I see if he liked it. Yes. Yeah. That's smart, too. And then what type of picture he liked. I do that with... Okay, so quite often, maybe if a cute, cute girl follows me, and I'm like, huh, I always go through following lists, right? Like, And then in following lists, quite often, there will be other guys she follows that I know. And then, I kn- and then I'm like... It, it's so obvious to me what she follows me for then. Because there are times where I'm the only person that she follows out of our entire circle, like, greater network. But then sometimes I'll find, like, Vit, Nick, Reggie. Like, you know what I mean? And I'm like, you're horny as hell. And then and then that's a turnoff, you know what I mean? And then, like, and then sometimes, like, I'll check, like, the people she follows that I know and see if she has liked their posts. Exactly, yeah, and yeah, And sometimes yeah. they're thirsting, bro. So I'm, I'll yeah. catch a girl, like, like drooling over another man. Maybe and even I'm like, just like like clout chasing too. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Could yeah. Be, yeah. Clout chasing vibes yeah, too. Yeah. For Damn. sure. Well, it says here types of men in dating. That was just a question. I don't remember that one. Oh, it's like what? Hold on. <laughs> Are you a dog pretty or a beer pretty? <laughs> What's types that? of men in dating. I don't fucking know, man. Oh. <laughs> dog. A joke. Oh. Have you seen that dude, the fucking TikTok trend that's pissing me off? Is like my golden retriever boyfriend looking for me. Uh, and, like, uh, and I'm like, that shit is so fake. And then in the comments, a bunch of girls wrote like, yeah, golden retriever boyfriend's cool, but I have a Doberman boyfriend. Uh, and and then I was like, what's a Doberman boyfriend in public? Like, he's just like, arr, 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 people. So then I looked and it was like, one of it was like, and it had to be set up. It was like, my do- like Doberman boyfriends are like Vit, Vit's look. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like... Uh, <laughs> What? This is a, what? What do you mean? It has no, 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 to be no, I'm a saying joke. They're, 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 like, a, I was like, what is a Doberman boyfriend? Like a golden retriever boyfriend, everyone could picture that head. I was like, yeah. what's, a, what's a Doberman boyfriend look like? And it's like tattoos and yeah. like sharp, like dark, you know what I mean? I'll take it. Yeah, and uh, arf, arf. and one of the... <laughs> <laughs> My like, Doberman is broken. <laughs> he's like, bark, bark. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bite you. 
And she's like, and it's, bite you. and it's like, apparently it was like one of my neighbors. Why does Ian look so grossed out? <laughs> it was like, he, it was like, it was her shooting it from her apartment window. And the dude is like in a flannel jacket, like sitting on his truck next to a car. And it was like, my boyfriend's been, my Doberman boyfriend's been sitting out there for four hours waiting for the guy that like yelled at me earlier. Some stupid shit. I forgot what the mute. And I was just like, corny. Yeah, this, is so corny. this is set up. This is set up. Corny losers. Yep. Hey, I love how scumbag dad always makes, makes fun, fun of those tropes. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. why I love him. It's hilarious. He's like the hero of TikTok. Yeah. yeah. Every time you see something corny, scumbag dad will be there to make fun of you. Yeah. Wait, so I saw, hold on, I gotta pull this up real quick. Can I take a shit? I saw this TikTok that was about the four types of women that are not suitable for a long term relationship. And before people were like, misogynist, whatever it is. It was girls and guys agreeing and disagreeing in the comments. So that's why I thought that this was interesting. So I'm just going to list the four types and then we'll talk through. So one, women that go to the club, you should not <laughs> take these types of women seriously. Okay. okay. Number two. Uh, yeah, yeah. You freaking gross guy. Chewing gum into the mic is crazy. Should we talk through each one or no? No, 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 no. Do all we'll... four. Okay, okay. So number one was women that go to the club. You cannot take these types of women seriously. Number two, women that are obsessed with social media and post revealing content. They aren't posting bikini pics to show their friends what they're up to. Well, duh. Number three, a woman with a high body count overlook <laughs> overlook someone's past and it'll always come back and bite you. Yep. And number four, a woman that takes frequent girls trips. Your girl ain't going to Miami spring break to lay on the beach. And so that was like the four. And then one of the comments was like, uh, some, sometimes they be like all four in one. And, all, and that one got like so many likes. I know, I know, that, few, that is, I know a lot of people that are all four in one. I tried to play devil's advocate. I was trying to be like, you know, if that was all four in a human, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, could, like, have you met somebody yeah, that has been that type of person that was not the trope of. Oh, that oh, is, is a trope. long-term relationship material. Girl. Yeah, oh. yeah, and I just couldn't. I couldn't think of. I couldn't think of anybody. I can't think of a single one. I don't know enough girls. That's a lie. I need, I need meet them all in the club. I think the last one isn't that bad. Which one? Girls Doing trips. Girls Doing trips. Going to Miami. Uh, well, not depends on where they're going. That one is but if if that's the only one they do. Yeah, it could possibly be fine. Because I think that's like girl time. Because for me too, like I'm going to Leaven Leavenworth with my friends, and where is Leavenworth? What is uh, this? It's like past it's where people cheat. No, it's like it's like a Christmassy village, and what we go. We, we we got a little cabin, and we're gonna like that's I was hot. Co yeah, exactly. Hot cocoa. We're gonna like that's cool. Go that's sledding fine. and that's stuff. That's the type of go sledding. <laughs> sledding. <laughs> Walk. But you're acting you like the, it's a sport. The, the, the type of the uh. type of uh, girls trip that is sounds more wholesome and like, yeah. But Miami Beach, mm -hmm. you're not going to Miami Beach to sip hot cocoa. I've never you're not going to Miami to. Okay, but Vegas, I would go with my friends to Vegas because you know why? I don't like the clubs there. I love gambling. I like so the all clubs I want to do is gamble, go to the buffets, get massages, free massages from at men. No, it's usually a woman. Oh, I'm just kidding. Like, if you go to, like, uh, Encore, they have, like, the best spas there. And it's mm. only a woman's... Women's go to the women's area, men go to the men's area. And it, it's Segregation. Amazing. Oh, my God. <laughs> I highly prefer to be massaged by men, to be honest. And let's, see, let's think of something else that's... Like, I so love Pump Springs. I can agree with almost all of them. Me too. Yeah, but, like, also, like, like if you just take just one, there's women of both. Like, I've definitely seen girls that go to the club that I'm like... You are long-term relationship material. Yeah. You're, you're just like, your friends like to go to the club, so that's where you end up. Secondly, what was the other one? Large social media following? Um, women that uh, are obsessed, obsessed with obsessed. social media and post revealing content. Uh, okay. That one is probably the most, I think, accurate for not down, not good for long-term relationship. Mm. Because, like, in my opinion, like, you're, you're like, if, it, if, you're, if your only content is your body and your looks... Like you are constantly seeking physical validation, whether it's from men or women, whatever, right? You're just constantly looking for outer validation. And that's just like extremely de detrimental to long-term relationships. That was 100% me. And you can agree that it's for validation purposes, right? Yes. Yep. To, yeah, to, to most of it, yes. Yeah. Most of it, yes. But it's just like being in like the social media industry, like what are you not doing for ego? 
Exactly. One million percent. Every, every, literally everything. But likes, I, Anyone comments. that's obsessed with social media, but not, not I always. Say, a I, lot I of content say, is, a lot of content is to build a brand. Like obviously when I post a carousel of me with my shirt off at the club, like I'm trying to get validated. But if I'm posting content, like videos on health, videos on bartending, mm-hmm. I'm building a brand so that I could build a business. Mm-hmm. And that's different. And there are girls that do that too. But like girls that post like, you know damn well what TikTok like they're not even dancing yeah. to the song. They got the song playing and they're just in a bikini and they're just like just mm-hmm. like literally like almost like displaying merchandise. Like you know what I'm saying? Like my, what are you my favorite type of content? I, 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 I like I like that content too. I, I click but, not interested. I like, like looking poison. at pretty girls. But like exact girls that post that shit, yeah, absolutely. That I think that's the worst one of those four. Mm. The trip one, like, fully depends on if if she's like that kind of person. Like if her mm. and her friends like to fucking I've seen girls trips like they are all trying to fuck. To like me, even like when we go on trips sometimes, the guys are like not focused on girls whatsoever, but the girls are like, we're trying to find husbands tonight. Yeah. Yeah. So damn well you're not finding no fucking husband. I actually have fucking. noticed that. Yeah, it's always yeah. the girls try- in our group trying to trying to trying to meet guys while the really? guys don't so, give a yeah. fuck. Yeah. Because oh. most of the time but, with the guys, it's just like we're ordering shots and we're gonna stand here in a circle and fucking have fun. Yeah, Here's the, the other thing too. You guys aren't giving them attention, buying them drinks. Like maybe you guys ah. like will cover the table, but like girls want validation. Yeah, you we guys like are validation like not too. paying attention to them. You're joking around with them, whatever, and then yeah. you're doing your own thing. Whereas like, you know, for them, that's boring. By now you've seen us drink this beautiful drink and this is Nectar Hard Seltzer, the first Asian inspired hard seltzer featuring delicious flavors like Asian pear, lychee, mandarin, and yuzu. Now, unlike all those big brands out there that have that disgusting aftertaste, we got rid of it. There is no weird aftertaste in this. We actually started Nectar two years ago out of my garage and because of a viral TikTok, we took off. And because of supporters like you, we've now expanded Nectar into five states, California, Hawaii, Washington, New York, and New Jersey. If you'd like to get a box of Nectar, here are four easy options to choose from. Go to our website, NectarHardSeltzer.com, click on the store locator, and the store closest to you will pop right up. If we're not in any stores near you, next time you're in your favorite store, ask the manager to stock us. You'll be genuinely surprised how well that works. And if we're not in any stores near you yet, or we're not in your city, you can order us online. We ship to 45 states. And if we can't ship to you, send us a text. That tells us where we need to go next. Drink Nectar Hard Seltzer, unique Asian flavors, and no weird aftertaste. Now back to whatever the hell they're talking about. What would you say uh, collectively would be like the four types of men not suitable for a long-term relationship? I would say almost all the same things. That's true. No, that wait, 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 what's the first one you said? First um, one was- uh, a clubbing. Clubbing? clubbing. Oh, absolutely. It's yeah. more clubbing for men, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, and really? The, yeah. Cause then the, the no, actually, the social media one's still the biggest well, one. I was actually. in the club trying to find a wife. <laughs> How'd that work out, buddy? It didn't work out because yeah. all the girls weren't worth it. <laughs> <laughs> I was worth it. The but social media one would be the biggest turn. It's off. the biggest fucking it one. Would. And then what's the second one? Okay, going on bo- boys trip. Ah. No, I've seen a ba- I've seen a lot of bad things happen though. It depends on the destination. It depends on the destination, destination and the boys sure. they're with. Yes. That's true. That is very true. Yeah. I'm trying to think if there is something that's like sp- yes. uh, male or female specific. If someone is like just only cheap. only oh, for men, oh, oh. It's, it's if a guy is cheap, that's like a no go because the thing is, when mm-hmm. you're cheap, it's kind of hard not to be cheap anymore. Yeah, I mean, you I also up, don't like hanging you out with cheap yeah, guys. You literally g- grew up like that. That's in your like in your brain now. Yeah. Even if you have money, you'll be cheap. Even if you're poor, you'll be cheap. I don't like that shit. What very true. No, what about men that game? It's mm. gonna start a fire. Oh, that game? If they yeah, game too play. much. Yeah. If it, are we talking about wait, too wait, much? Also, not suitable for long-term relationship. Yeah. I'd say that's far better than any of the other ones. Because <laughs> at least you're home. You play FIFA all day, man. Yeah. <laughs> he said, yeah. If, it, if you found someone that you really, really love, then would you play games less, do you think? Hell no. Okay. <laughs> Man, not better suitable leave me for long term relationship. <laughs> no, okay, that's why you know, I want he a woman. Me. Ah. I want a woman that has her own shit going on. <laughs> Your shit is FIFA. Well, I playing video uh, games. <laughs> so it's like if I play in FIFA, you can stand right there and watch a show or something. That's her shit going on. Oh, yeah. I thought he meant like running a business. He yeah. means that she got a TV show. Go out there and make money. I play <laughs> FIFA. I'm trying to think. Like, no, nah, I probably would play less, but uh-huh. I don't know. Yeah, we'll have to see. I can agree with the gaming if it's a toxic game. Like, example, League of Legends is a fucking (laughs) toxic game. Like, it makes you a bad person, low-key. Wow. Bro, have you ever ever played? 
No. My brothers, my brothers used to play League of Legends like nonstop. Like he and, was and scouted would, by TSM. Like what the like fuck? He, yeah, he was pretty big, but he. All of my brothers are like super cool. Okay, but when they were playing the game, you would hear them screaming from the room, right? Oh, well, that is true. Yeah, <laughs> they would say a lot of slurs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that shit, that, bro. I'm telling. Okay, so let me explain to you League of Legends and why that shit <laughs> fucking takes a mental toll on you. Have you ever played? Yeah. I- I have an abusive relationship with League of Legends. Yeah. What? Why? <laughs> what about you? Why? League of Legends? You ever played? I played, but I never cared about it like that. Okay. But my, FIFA spe- is my League of Legends. It's specifically League I'll, of Legends. I'll explain to you why. That game style, it's called MOBA. League of Legends is the most toxic game in the world because like, it's 40 minutes long. And especially if you're level 30 and you're playing ranked games where like your elo matters. And then the type of people you get matched up with changes because of that. So it's a team game. Full of anonymous people with a hiding behind a fucking screen. <laughs> Who just got a list of usernames and he's got to find one day. Into them. And uh, I like catch somebody with like the similar talking cadence. I'm like, are you <laughs> XXY? <laughs> nah. But basically, you're stuck in this game for 40 minutes. And with the selection and everything, it could take up to an hour, right? Yeah, the games are long as It's long as okay. shit. So imagine... And if and it's the type of game if you're not killing it if you're not doing well the game sucks it is ass and then when you're not doing well not only is the other team flaming you while they clap you up your own teammates are flaming you like blaming you for the loss and nobody wants to play with you and and, and no and then people because the rank shit. is so important the ranking is just like in any game your rank is what matters yeah. it's like it's their their way of like convincing you that you're achieving something while you play this fucking mindless game right yeah they need to appeal to that part of your brain that like needs achievement so. That's what a rank is. And then, uh, and so, yeah, when I used to play that shit. But how is that not as toxic as COD? Which is COD is quicker. COD is quicker. Oh, oh it's because yeah. of the length of the game. Super yeah. casual. It's because, dude, imagine being stuck in a game for an hour. You can't that just sucks. Quit? No, because if you quit, oh, it's a ranked. five on five, right? If you leave, your team auto loses. And whoever lo- whoever leaves a game like uh, is like auto banned. So you'll, oh, you'll get automatically like banned. Teamwork. Oh, I remember like telling my brothers, come eat. Oh, like mom's telling you to eat. And they'll be like, I can't right now. And you literally just play can't it. leave the game. Yeah. yeah and literally like. It, they would never get off of it. They were playing it so like for so many hours. It was crazy. And think if you just play five games, that's five hours. That's crazy. Just five games. You just be screaming at the top Bro, of your lungs. And it's like, like not scream. I not, not. I was never screaming physically, but I'm in that bitch. <laughs> you Wait, fucking slurs, bitch ass. Keys for slurs. <laughs> <laughs> was the top ranked challenger? Was that challenger? challenger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, if you're a challenger tier, that's like yeah. you are like professional. That was, like, that level was my player. brother. Yeah, yeah, that was my brother. And that's that's he was obsessed with no, that. No, no, that, that's crazy that he yeah. made it to challenger because that's fucking absurd. I'm just imagining that meme of the two shaking hands and it's like cigarette companies and League of Legends. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's the most exactly. addictive. Like no, that's toxic Red Bull. Things. Oh, sorry, Monster and gaming. Any energy drink. In gaming. No, no, he no, means, no, he means like, like in like evil toxic. marketing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Addictive, like, toxic, like evil that is marketing. That's a toxic relationship too. Energy drink and, and, and gaming because but I, literally they go on and on drinking that shit. That's but, true. But Can I'm just like, dude, like all the things you just explained, it's the game that forces you in for 40 minutes. You have to stay in the entire time. You, the rank thing that you're saying of achievement and it just like gets people hooked. They just dope. It's like a casino, like a, the yeah. slot machine Company and, and, invented and, it. and what makes the game fun is is how high the skill cap is. Like, you can't even compete on an actual level if you don't know every item in the game. If you don't know every really? move that every champion makes, there's like 200 champions now. So that's why I quit a long. I quit all video games like maybe like five years ago, but I quit League like maybe like six years ago. And then I played like Spider Man for PS4. <laughs> <laughs> you had to, so I, I had to play a happy game yeah, <laughs> alone. <laughs> but, but dude, League of Legends, if you are gone for like four months, they add new champions, they rework champions, oh. they add new items. You come back and then you're like, what the fuck is the thing that just happened? You don't even know what just happened to you. It's like, so missing it's like how, do you, how, do you, how do you compete if, you, if this wow. new champion you've never seen before is hitting you with moves? You, never, you don't know what the moves are doing. Wow. So, so like, if you don't know can't miss everything. FIFA. You you cannot compete Wait, properly. So when you join a game, you don't get to pick your character. You do, but there's, oh, there's nine versus, other characters, oh. right? So it's also like a lot of the characters interact with their their moves interact with their teammates. So there's like support oh. characters. So imagine there's a character called Thresh that when he was released, 
he can throw a lantern to a teammate, and if you click the lantern, he drags you to him. So oh, sick. Super valuable move, right? Yeah. But imagine you randomly joined the game, you didn't know what the lantern did. <laughs> you're, just, you're running, trying to live, and yeah. Thresh is like, here's the lantern, and you're like, oh, motherfucker, help me, what is this lantern? And Thresh is screaming at you, grab the lantern, yes. grab the That's lantern! Exactly. It's like, you stupid fucking bitch, why you ain't grab the lantern? Like, damn. Yeah. I mean, you, you can lose friends with over gaming, too. Your personality makes a lot more sense yeah, now. That, the that, abuse that, you've gone through through <laughs> League of Legends. For real. <laughs> and the highest I ever got was like gold one. Dude, so one, one of my friends got sent to rehab camp, you know, where bad kids go because he was addicted to... <laughs> where bad kids go. You know, like when you're like in high school yeah. and like, you know, you're smoking weed too early. I mean, kids were bad in high school, like doing oxygen shit. But he got sent and he was like, yeah, everyone was like either went to pr like jail as teenagers or shit like that. He was like, and I was there for RuneScape addiction. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, it was so embarrassing having to like explain to people that I almost failed out of high school because I was playing 14 hours of like RuneScape. He would literally hide in the bush for his parents to leave to work and then sneak back <laughs> into his house. Oh yeah. And his, I forgot how his parents like caught him that it was that bad. Like either they set up a camera or something crazy. That's and they wild. Just saw, That's his crazy. teachers were like, yeah, we haven't seen him for like... Like, we haven't seen him for, like, days. Wow. But I'm sure there's a lot of... I'm sure there's League of Legends rehab. Oh, a million there's percent. There's gotta be. Bro, you gotta go to fuck... You gotta find Jesus after you quit that game. That, that game makes you a bad person. <laughs> Wait, what does it mean to be baby girl coded? Man, this guy has no transitional skill. Yeah, what, the hell is <laughs> <laughs> what is baby girl His transition coded? is wait. <laughs> uh, this is just any pause in the conversation. Do you guys yeah, know well. what it is, or would, or can we have Ian? Ian, Ian, Ian brought this up earlier. Ian, explain baby girl coded. Come, come just sit here, so people. Come here, baby girl. Because you said you said somebody called it, called you that. So I want I want people yeah. to see how you look. Well, well, yeah, come talk into my mic. <laughs> Okay. Well, so first, hold it like this close. Yeah. So first, I was I was hanging out with a friend, and she called me baby girl like ironically, but I like really kind of liked it, and so I told <laughs> my other girl space friends about that. And girl like, oh, space, like girl friends. Oh god, girl god. friends. Oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I thought it was like a new. And everything <laughs> I feel like he's saying is a Gen Z term, so I'm like taking it too um, literally. And they're like, oh, it's because you're baby girl coded, and I was like, what does that mean? From what I understand, from what they've told me, it's like a submissive breedable man <laughs> but but not in like a pick me way in like a pure and innocent must be guarded type of way okay uh, you're okay. baby girl coded you, for you, sure you are a baby girl coded <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's Aww, like, that's am i sweet. baby girl coded absolutely Hell, not fucking no you're the devil yeah. i mean you're submissive what? and bre that? breedable but not innocent and nice him, him, Dr. Wutar, not you. Yeah, so, yeah no, you, wait. I, 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 I get it. Wait, so, but you like coded. it? You like being baby girl coded? I, apparently, it's a good thing, and it's like kind of rare. Like, so I'm with it. But do you like? Uh, you said you like being called baby girl. Oh God, it's rough because she watches this podcast. Uh, Who's your friend? She bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's it's always second question. It's oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, ah, that's funny. It's fucked. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. But uh, do you like you like being called baby girl? Well, I think part of it is like I'm kind of interested in her too, so that oh. helps too. But like, oh. wait, we'll talk. Spell the name. Oh. Spell the name. I'm Silent. Not spell the name right now. I'll tell you after. <laughs> yeah, she, she. Yo, Esther wanted tea so bad she started tweaking. <laughs> yeah, but oh, okay. So if anyway, if just your random girl space friend called wait, you baby girl, it? doesn't matter. And probably it's uh, it's probably pretty clear. I haven't told her. Oh, uh, uh, I don't think it's reciprocated though. Yikes. We'll see. We'll see. Ian. I'm a, we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna we're gonna go do something yeah, after this. Coach, gotta, coach talk. Yeah. gotta put you through the program. I just yeah. wanted to do a cartwheel right now. Yeah, you're gonna sleep over for the next four days, Wait, and by the end of this, two days. <laughs> it's like boot camp. That is so cute. Send out a hundred DMs a day. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of it, we see you and he's like, hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's cute as fuck. I had an inkling. I had an inkling. You thought that wow. that's what baby girl coded me meant? No, no, no. Oh, well, yes, actually, the, that, oh, that, that baby other. girl coded gave me that vibe. That was talking about our, our little love story that's unfolding. Got it. Much. What, what yeah. did you think baby girl coded meant? <laughs> exactly that. Yeah, exactly that. Oh. Submissive, breedable man <laughs> that must be protected. Because, like, baby <laughs> girl's very, like, I need to protect you. It means I gotta go out and fucking fight 20 dudes for her to see me as a man. 
I don't baby girl coded sounds like just like a baby, cute, yeah, cutesy, exactly. cute. cutesy man. I think of like uh, those fucking like Hello Kitty, that Hello Kitty filter on TikTok. Meow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't thinking. Why, that- why are you getting served that? No, I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's always uh, dudes doing it on my For You page. So. <laughs> why are you getting served that? <laughs> they, they know what I like. My That's for you page saying. knows me. I like the Kuromi one way better though. Uh, <clears throat> I thought that because to me, calling somebody baby girl coat, like I wouldn't think it was like, oh, girls still want to sleep with you. I think it's like cutesy. Yeah, yeah. What yeah, yeah. what what is Jeremy coded? How is Jeremy coded? <laughs> Dress coded. <laughs> <laughs> the way he dresses. <laughs> Colorblind. That's a good. brilliant, tall, dark, handsome man. Dark? <laughs> <laughs> Mysterious. He is kind of dark for Korean. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, people yeah. think I'm always hey, actually, like a, dark, tall, dark, and handsome refers to their hair color. Really? I always thought it meant like a like a hot, tall black guy. Yeah, me too. Yeah, or like or like somebody with like oh. tanner skin, but it's it's like white people. It's a white person term. They're talking about somebody with dark hair. Oh, what about like wow. and dark really? eyes too? Yeah, 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 yeah. What? Damn, that threw me off. Yeah. I thought it meant like was- olive skin. You think of like <laughs> Italian dude with like dark hair. Like that's oh. that's what it means. Oh God, I hate white people. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> that's so stupid. Yeah, I mean, you guys want to hear about their term? Let's not <laughs> appropriate it. Yes, I do. You guys want to hear about my billion zillion dollar idea? Oh, yeah. Like, Tell I got like excited. This. I like stood up out of my chair when it like hit me. I was just if like, I don't think it's worth a billion dollars, what are you gonna give me? Nothing. I don't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> he's he sounded so sad. I don't want to hear it. Okay, well, moving on. <laughs> what is it, man? I feel. I feel curiosity. Like, I knew he couldn't. I feel like if it's good, then we should like take this out of the podcast. We have no what way of doing any type of airline idea. Was no, 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 no. This one you can. Okay, so what is the most annoying thing about flying on an airplane? Bad Screaming food. children. Children. Screaming children, babies, right? Really? And what happens when a plane is going down, right? <laughs> what do they tell you to do first? Oh, save, use the save baby the as women a... And the, and, the, and the babies. And what do you pull over their mouth first? Oxygen? Like an oxygen, an mask. oxygen mask. So imagine a mask that you pull over the baby that's a muffler. And it just goes <laughs> over the baby. If you could put an oxygen mask over his, a baby. His billion could, dollar idea was muzzle the babies on a plane. A baby silencer. That just gave me a headache. The baby's literally like. Yeah, you're gonna like you're gonna torture a baby for like twelve hours. No, why flights. would it be torture? You could like like an oxygen. You put an oxygen mask over a baby in an emergency so, situation. So put a regular mask over the baby that muffles the sound for the rest of the airplane. This guy, this guy are you talking about like like a COVID mask, or are you talking no, about no, no, like no, a, no, just like a, like an air mask? It has po- it's space. You can make it comfortable. He I means say, a fucking muzzle. That's what like, he uh, means. Uh, why don't you like, just fucking give it? Give them fucking laughing gas while you're at it. You wait, have the mask that would on? be cool too. It's like flavored canisters. Oh, wait, wait, Give it like grape flavored. This guy was so confident. This was a billion dollar idea. Do you guys Dude, remember are you that not? Movie? Are you are you guys serious? If you would put a mask over a baby of anything to cover its face, why not muffle its cries for the rest? Because of the for it to like for it to like work, jet, for it to genuinely work to cover the sound of the baby, it would basically be act like a muzzle. Have you ever done a CPR like taking like a CPR mask, like the new age CPR mask? It's a comfortable like th- it's like an inflatable rubber thing that sits around and then it's like a All right, over you think you think the white moms are going to be like yeah I'm going to put something over my baby's if face the ra- because they're fucking super embarrassed when their baby's waking up yeah, the whole yeah, plane like, at night if that thing existed and it was comfortable I would put it on my baby if yeah, my if baby it, was screaming and then you just rock it to sleep do you remember so you're in <laughs> Low key, you've Shocks? convinced me. You've convinced me. Mm, okay, he's in. I got five dollars for one hundred percent of the company. <laughs> okay, now it's yours. <laughs> you must deal with the company. <laughs> okay, do you remember that movie with Emily Blunt and what's what's his, what's that guy's name? Uh, something convinced uh, the guy from The Office, Jim Halbert. Oh. What is that movie? The silent movie. John Krasinski. Yeah. What's that? Oh, uh, Quiet Place. The Quiet Place. Remember when they put that oxygen mask on the baby mm-hmm. so that the baby, when the baby cries, the monsters can't hear it. Mm. It's something like that. Uh, <clears throat> I, once I'm, again, a very <laughs> dire situation. <laughs> yeah. Hey, be on. Jeremy's airplane? just like I'm tired of hearing these babies screaming. Muzzle that baby. <laughs> Wait, but oh, the whole time he's on the phone in a meeting. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> mm, fun fact, guys. 
Um, I actually don't mind crying babies anymore. What? And I actually learned how to cry like a baby because my youngest brother, um, he was a cry baby. He was in the incubator and he was a very sickly baby. So he would cry literally 24-7. Damn. And so I learned how to cry like a baby. You want to hear it? Do it. <laughs> Whoa. Ah! That's so creepy. What the fuck? Dude? Yeah. What the f- <laughs> That's fuck hella that? fucking creepy. Put the muzzle on her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that so th- that's what I learned because I was like, shut up, and I started mocking him. What the fuck? That was like astonishingly uh, uh, Hey also she could sing. Remember that TikTok? Oh yeah, wait, you were lip syncing? Huh? You were not lip syncing? No, that was that's her audio. Up. Yeah, what the hell? Really? Did not know yes, you could sing either. That's voice. crazy, yeah. I have a lot of talent. Hey, wait, hit the, hit the baby crying one more time. I move in silence. Huh? Hit the, hit the <laughs> baby crying one more time. <laughs> Damn, that shit's good, bro. So <laughs> spot on. Hey, but I just thought of the name for our company. What? It's a nuzzle. Cry baby. It, no, it's a oh. nuzzle. It's a cute, like nuzzling a baby, but it's a muzzle. Oh. Nuzzle. Oh, put your nuzzle on. Really uh, thank you for it. watching really Under the Influence. He really is trying to muzzle these babies, man. <laughs> yeah. No, come on now. If it really came down to it, you would be like, thank you. I oh, appreciate you. Yeah. Loki? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, Should we end right. the podcast, clip this part <laughs> out, and send it to Shark Tank? <laughs> That'd be fun. How, how do we make this happen? Send it to, send it to a, uh, a billionaire. And say, I, I will feel give like you Jason this. Wong could source it for us. I guarantee you someone is going to invent this. It's going to come in the future. Makes mm-hmm. sense. I'll, yeah. I'll remember this moment. And also, you got to think about it. There's always going to be new babies to apply it on because people make babies every day. <laughs> that every is always minute, a growing actually. market, damn. Yeah. Every second. And the, nu- and the nuzzle can be used. It's not always about airplanes. It could be used at church. It could be used at schools. Yeah. It could be used... <laughs> New idea. Instead of the muzzle, more family friendly, a binky that excretes. <laughs> so drugging the baby. We've gone from muzzling the baby yeah, to drugging halfway through, the baby. I was like, oh, wait. It's He's just- like, Cody, when I used to take that shit, it would put me out. I was literally about to say that shit. I was like, a no. little bit of, uh, wipe it with a little bit of lean. Uh, yeah. Something <laughs> Binky put them to sleep. We we'll, had, we'll expand on that. We went from fucking muzzles to drugging babies. Alrighty, so, that, that's oh, that's that's pretty good. Uh, so uh, I saw this TikTok where the, the lady literally quoted and it said, "At the end of the day, it's the person who will pick you up from LAX." Oh. And all the comments were like, "Oh my god, that's the person!" Blah blah blah. And I wanted to, I threw up in my mouth. <laughs> Like, how dare you try to test the person that you love? If you truly love another person, then you would be thinking about their, their, their well-being, and you wouldn't expect them to go through hell to pick you up from LAX. You'd be like, oh, that's really annoying. That's a 45-minute drive there, then 45 minutes in the loop, and then 45 minutes. Yeah, you know what? You stay ass. home. I'm going to just take an Uber. Wait, but what if I have really, really bad, like, Car sickness, like motion sickness. Grow Every up. single time, I <laughs> yeah. can't just grow out of it, dude. I hate taking Ubers everywhere. I hate it so much because sometimes I get the worst drivers, and at least if it's my friend, I could just be like, "Can you just drive a little slower? Can I drive your car?" You know. But with Uber drivers, oh my goodness, you can't just take their shift. I mean, again, it's just like sometimes you got to be car sick for the person you care about. So yeah. if I Depends. asked you, if I asked you, can you pick me up from LAX? You would say no. No, I would. It depends on it depends on the situation, though, right? Because you're it's my like, best friend. Yeah, if you're like, hey, it's like one in the afternoon, and it'd be really difficult for that person, then I would do what's the least difficult for them. Because it's 2023, and there's everything available. You could take a flying car home if you wanted to. Yes. You think you have camera again? Oh. Yeah, stop. Sorry, move, sorry, sorry. move your chair inside, man. Yeah, but yeah, I just saw that, and I was just like, I feel like that's a test. It's like a toxic mentality to be like, if you love me, you will do this. I, I remember, I remember when too. I first moved here, and I, I asked Jeremy to pick me up from the airport one time, and he said straight up no, and my jaw dropped. I was like, <laughs> what the fuck do you mean no? Because back home, you know, we always pick each other up from the airport. This guy was like, you don't do-. And he lived 15 minutes from the airport. That is so true. Yeah, yeah. He used to live 15 minutes from the airport, and he refused to pick me up. And I was going over to his house, so that was extra crazy. 
So then I was just like, wow, LA people really are fake as hell. What the and, fuck? And you know, I still stand on business about that situation. But nowadays, <laughs> now that I live all the way on the east side of LA and I'm like, Bro, that is an hour drive there. That loop does take 40 minutes. That and then an hour drive ass, back. I would, I would pick up <clears throat> Eddie and my close friends. Yeah, I would but pick you guys up if you, you guys you, asked you, me to. Everyone has ordered them over. I'm so caring about you guys. I would never expect that. Never. Yes. Wouldn't bat an eye. Nowadays, like, now I don't take it for anyone. anyone. But I would do it with a smile because I would be like, oh, that's so nice of them to want to ask me. Okay, but you also have, you have time on your hands. Uh, mm, no. You do have you do you have some time I on your hands. I used to. Okay. Now I sleep. You're, you're busy. <laughs> you're busier now, but you have time nowadays. Like I will not do it. But then I also don't expect anyone to do it for me. And sometimes I'll ask Eddie, like you know, can you pick me up? And if he can, he will. But uh, I'm I'm not gonna. Get oh, you're mad. not gonna get mad. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then also, me and him have worked out. Like okay, getting picked up when we come into LAX. The Uber black car to get to to get to our place is like a hundred plus dollars. So if we're gonna pick each other up, just do the pickup rather than dropping off at LAX mm. because the the Uber from here to LAX forty bucks, perfectly fine. Oh. Dude, you know what the secret is? Is so I just go on Google Maps and I just found a neighborhood and I literally will go to Street View and look at which side street cleaning is on. And so now I have literally saved in my phone a shortcut to a street that I know that always has street parking. And the street, the street sweeping signs are like Tuesday and Thursday. Oh. So I just park my car 10 minutes. And then while I'm 10 minutes to my spot, I call an Uber. And by the time I drop my car, the Uber's there and takes me to the airport. Oh. And then right when I get out, I can pay for the black card so I get picked up on the curb. And it's cheap. And I go like a mile out of LA. That's what I used to love about when you lived right there. I would just park yeah. at your shit. <sighs> yeah, that was nice. That, But now that I also live on the east side, I have, I took the time to find the right neighborhood. And so if you guys want my spot, happy to give yeah, it up. Yeah, yeah. Wait, but the street, street sleeping comes Tuesdays and Thursdays. No, it's... Yeah, most times I'm flying on the weekend. I have multiple streets. I have multiple streets now, but yeah. Yeah, no, if I was just going for a weekend, I'll definitely use that shit. Yeah, it was, it was so yeah. much easier. Um, but yeah, I was just like... I wouldn't get mad, but I would, I would ask. And if they say no, I guess I'm just like, oh. If they're busy, but yeah, if they're, they're not, they're I'd, be, I'd, I'd feel a little sad. Yeah, like if Vit refused to pick me up from LAX, I'd be crazy. You'd, you'd feel a little sad, Yeah, right? yeah, I'd be like, what are you doing right now, Vit? Playing FIFA. Yeah, I just don't want to leave my crib. Yeah. But North that? Hollywood to LAX is that's like... far as hell. Yeah, that's far as hell. Far, I mean, I would never even ask him, to yeah, be honest. that's straight up an hour. Yeah. Yeah, so... I would Fuck pick you, you, up, you entitled piece I of shit. No. Yeah, I just, I just wouldn't ask you because that's so mi such a miserable really? experience. I like I would it. Love it. If $100 is totally worth just taking taking the Uber home. I'd rather just order you a fucking Uber than actually. That's another the thing issue, too, The like, issue with LAX though, dude, is that they literally made it so you can only order black car to the fucking curb. That's so annoying. I'd yeah. send you money for it. They're about to, uh, or you have to walk or take the bus. So I've been the last terminal on the loop loop to where the lift bus is so full by the time it gets to me yeah. it passed multiple times and i've just had to walk to the <laughs> to the lift thing because because uber yeah because uber it was like a 10 15 minute walk with your luggage you just take uber uber, black at no that no point. because uber black was also 250 oh man oh, 250 is crazy i was like hell no i'm not Whoa. paying Damn. yeah i was like fuck this yeah a hundred dollars i'll pay it i'll i'll eat that shit sometimes mm -hmm. but 250, 250 i would walk it was yeah, like, yeah. That's another flight ticket. Yeah, exactly. Literally. One I'll thing fly. on my Christmas list is one of those uh, suitcases that also turn into a scooter. Oh, fine. I want, I want one of those now. Yeah. What is that? Yeah, there's a suitcase that you ride. Like a, yeah. A little scooter. Uh-huh. I think you have to be careful. It's care like $1,000. So. I think you have to be careful with that because some airlines, it's like it's got an electric battery. They find it sketchy. I was about to say, like, yeah. how's that making it through? I, I, I don't know, but <clears throat> I'm pretty sure you pretty sure it's more common now mm. yeah maybe they use i don't know whatever when you guys sit on the toilet do you guys lean back or hunch forward <sighs> you guys will hate me back? if i say, say some, what I'm some, people, say. some people lean back it's like a chair okay uh, so so uh, the best way for humans to poop is legs slightly yeah. up so i need poop stool and then you do you hit this move if you're ever having an issue. You you lean back a little bit and then as you come forward you push and it's like a fucking lever out your bowels. <laughs> this is if I was to so, ever so you use lean the restroom. Back. I do both. Yeah, you're I'm, sitting. I'm sitting. I'm leaning forward most of the time. Oh, I, okay. I have the stool, so my I'm in squat position. That's the better position. But you're for leaning to poop on in. your thighs. Yeah. What about like you? This. I lean forward. 
But you have a poop stool, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see, so I it's like that position though, with your legs up. Yeah, like this. Like yeah. Oh, I feel like I should maybe get a poop stool. What poop about stools what are case? fire? Uh, they are fire. Uh, you what? have a poop stool too? No, no, no. Oh. I haven't gotten around about it. Uh, he's just like I use Utox. <laughs> 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 poop, poop stool plus bidet combo is is insane. Bidet no is bidet. amazing, but the no. poop stool that that I find annoying is that it just like sits in front of the toilet. So when you go uh, to stand to pee, sometimes you kind of have to like you're further back you could, and have to I lean mean, over. You can all like you could just move the stool <laughs> and out when you're pooping only you know no I know but even when it's tucked in when you stand like I, I go to your toilet to pee no but I leave my shit there but if, if you don't like that well, you can only whip it out when you're pooping like you go sit down to poop and then no 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 I that's get that that's true it's not that no no I get that I'm saying when I'm going to pee it's annoying cause okay. it's like pushes me like a foot back motherfucker what do you not understand about what I'm saying when you, it can be always put to the side, like not there at all. Ooh, no, but to pee, I'm going to waste all that time to pull it out and no, set it aside to then put it back. Hard, when, you, when you pull up to pee, it's already not there because you only pull it out when you poop and you put it back after you're done pooping. No, 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 no. You always tuck it right at the base of the toilet. That's mine. I I'm, take, I'm saying for you. Oh. And you and, what are you talking about? Okay, also, oh. I think the only problem oh. is uh, my door. <laughs> you got to be he's, stressed dude, out. Dude, he's very tapped up here to talk. Yeah. I'm telling that you, oh was my. frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, bro. Okay, but sometimes I hate her way of arguing when there's one thing that she doesn't agree with. She's like, right? It's all <laughs> no, like, dude. It's it's. God. No, I agree no, with I'm her. No, I'm happy. I'm happy when someone can agree with me yeah. because I'm just like you don't understand how yeah, tough but then where it would is. you put it? Most bathrooms are small. It's, it's definitely like you got a little like my shit folds into like literally just like a oh yeah and yeah, then you just put it right those. right there so if I sit down to poop I could just whip it out like fucking I'm gonna get one yeah dude it's so great okay because my friend was the he also had one but it was just one mold there's no folding oh, yeah. like yeah. that yeah. those yeah. are the fancier ones those are that's fancier than what wait no they have ones that are fancier that are like wood. And oh, they're I, nicely, nicely they're done. Ni those are nice. Yeah, but there's like the like the cheaper plastic ones that you could. All it is fold. is your feet raising. I seen one with I seen one with molds for your feet for your feet. Oh. Oh. That's so stupid. This is how it is I, stupid because Loki, you want it to be able to move around. This is how yeah. I use the toilet though. My feet are on the toilet. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? You perch? Yeah, I literally. You're talking about in like public restrooms, or are you doing that in your home? My home. That's crazy. Because I don't have a poop stool. Get a poop stool. So, and, then, and then I lean back and I. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, try it, bro. Get no. I'm, get a, a I'm gonna get a poop stool. Poop stools are fire. Do you have a bidet at home? No. Oh. He doesn't oh, like well, bidets. Remember like his bidet, bidet experience? Oh. It just scares me. He, uh. he came out and he was like, guys. <laughs> <laughs> then I was panicked in that bitch. That's it. Brando, that bathroom was my hell for like for ten minutes. <laughs> Brando has the best bidet, especially because there's no toilet paper. He starts panicking. Yeah, like, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> That is scary if you're forced to use the bidet and you don't Dude, want I was stressed. Yeah, like you don't have an option. I remember when I used to go back to Korea when I was like seven. And the bathroom situations made no sense to me in Korea. Like some sometimes the bathrooms were not like modern Western like bathrooms. You ever see those fucking stalls that are just on the floor? Like, what is yeah. that shit? Oh, yeah, Cynthia sent a picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a I was, that shit, the ground. That shit yeah. just sent me like fucking like trauma memories where I pulled up and I'm like what the fuck is this? Like, like, and like the whole bathroom, everything looked different. I'm like, bro. Actually, I've never seen that. So literally, there's like a small hole for you to use the restroom. I don't even yeah. know how to, like, why that makes logical sense. Apparently in Australia, there's It's almost a, cleaner, though. It's just like a metal sheet and then like a thing, like a, like a divot. And then you pee onto the sheet and it just drops down yeah. into the thing and it like supposedly- Oh, all flushes. I guess. You know what? I, you know is what? I, better. You know what I liked? No splash. When I was in college, like college bars that just have like a trowel, <laughs> and they just got ice in it, and there's just like seven uh, yeah, dudes like yeah. peeing into the ice, and everyone can just everyone's looking around. Yeah. That's a nice one you got there, yeah. buddy. What? Who what did you, your hey, circumcision? Speaking of which. <laughs> <laughs> what That's did you do with the video of us pissing and looking at each other? What the? I, I forgot to edit that video. <laughs> yeah, like, we were like, man, he made us do that just for his own pleasure. I should just post that video. Jeremy sus as hell. So, so when we went to Fountain to film like uh, promo stuff, he wanted just like a bunch of like B-roll of different stuff. So, he, so his, the idea we had was us peeing in the urinals and then I look over into his urinal. And I'm like, hmm. And then we do a high five yeah. and we like link hands. <laughs> I'll make a funny video out of it. Like, it was, was also one of it pretending. It was going to be like, you know, all the things to do at the club. 
And it was like Vin oh, yeah. pretending to make out. I have that. I'll, I'll, I'll spice that. And let me write a little note to myself. You think we're doing New York or no? We 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 will, but uh, we got a lot to talk about. Oh, yeah, we got we got restructure that. Hold on, um, restructure New York. Or just yeah, just not do New York like we did L.A. and San Diego. Oh, okay. New York's gonna be easy with Apollo. Yeah, they already have a built-in audience. I feel like San Diego and was so lovely. That one girl. You guys, what do you guys uh, think about San Diego? Huh? Kazi, Kazi. Kazi. I was like, don't don't talk about my boy unless you want to get <laughs> slapped. <laughs> Who? Oh. What'd you say? <laughs> oh, I said, what do you guys think about San Diego? I love San Diego. I think San Diego Club was really fun, and the meeting greet was really good. Yeah. The San Diego Club was honestly more fun to me. Same, same. Yeah. It's less hectic when, like, all your friends don't want everything at every moment. Yeah. Like all you do is focus on the yeah because there was only the, like the, ten of our the friends community. there versus three hundred yeah. you know so it's like True. it's like trying to balance friends and everybody that came it's like that's all harder. your relationships that are yeah. there you're like fuck yeah I can't manage all this um I have a hypothetical what's your <laughs> hypothetical sir say your significant other hooked up with somebody famous like a musician or like a YouTuber. Would you allow them to listen to their music or watch their content afterwards? Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Ooh. That's weird. Call really? me insecure. I don't give a fuck. That's weird. Yeah, cancel me. I don't care. What if it's like a fire ass movie? For example, whoa. It, <laughs> I Well, no, actually, I had a friend never hooked up with them. But, okay, this doesn't count. Cause she Wait, never what? Up with but uh, uh, let's say she hooked up with Joaquin Phoenix. That's the Joker. That's like the movie of the century. You're just going to oh, tell yeah. her she can't watch Joker? She can watch Joker. Yeah. I'm talking, it's okay, for movie stars, slightly different. And it would be weird if she was constantly watching their movies. Like, on <laughs> <laughs> like that yeah. It's movie night. Weird. Let's watch Joker again. No. Okay. <laughs> but Joaquin Phoenix has a lot of movies, though. You know what I mean? Like, he's got a, so if she's like really <laughs> movie into. Movie night. Let's watch Gladiator. Why? <laughs> like if she was really into like his catalog of movies, sus. Like, yes, that guy's a mega famous actor, really good, so the movie season is going to be good. But music, that's where... Yeah. Could you imagine if you're driving home with your girl, and then she's listening to, like, say it's, like, The weekend. And oh. In that song, The weekend is like, I took your bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'd flip that car. <laughs> even no, if it's no, not no, even no, about her? The lyrics are like, <laughs> she had a tattooed face boyfriend, but I took his bitch. <laughs> 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 he was, and you're like, there's no way that can be me. He was Vietnamese. <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> and yo, and the weekend gets disrespectful with it too, being like, yo, bitch, love me more than she, like, like he, he be going deep with yeah, it, like, yeah, bro. Dang. so like, no, nah, I, I cannot, I, I can't, I can't. You're like, okay, there's a lot of Vietnamese. He had a podcast <laughs> <laughs> with a strong Asian woman. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's referring to me or you. <laughs> what, what he it's says. not a purpose for you to be like me. <laughs> <laughs> Is the weekend talking about me? Is the weekend talking about me? You're goofy. I feel like Jeremy acts like the youngest out of all of us. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you would say no though. I would say no. Oh, hell no. I would, I would, I would, I once. Okay, once YouTuber once. also is a crazy twist because that's like. No, YouTuber. Oh, crazy. If, if if she was to fuck a YouTuber, Ima okay. Imagine, I, imagine like, a girl. No. Imagine there's a couple. Girl pipes vit, and then they're watching. She constantly watches under the influence. Oh, I would be like, get. Yeah, if I was the man, I'd be like, how dare you? <laughs> I, I don't care how emotionally intelligent they are. Put turn it off. <laughs> oh wait, did I? T I told you right. Yeah, I, I told him that when we were. Uh, Discussing who was we, we basically admitted it was him. What that he was the <laughs> most emo, 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 what? him. Yeah. When did we do that? <laughs> we did. Don't, don't act like you don't what's remember. Must slipped my mind. <laughs> uh, I had a funny. Every time I think about YouTuber, I just think about like Evil Mr. Beast. And he's like, <laughs> how many times I could take his bitch? <laughs> like just making a video about it. Like some fucked up Eat Mr. Beast plot yeah, lines. Yeah, just. Evil. I don't understand why people hate Mr. Beast, man. That's a good man. Yeah. It was like, motherfuckers expect you to, like, that's how he gets his money, and then he redistributes it. Dude. And then people have a problem with it. Yeah, like, there's so many, there's the so much up. worse people than him out Jesus there, Christ, like, to, to fucking people be People just like about. to hate, that's it. The, the one where he built a hundred wells, 
in Africa and there's people on TikTok. There was like a black guy being like, oh, he's like taking like advantage and it's like a white, white oh, knight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this other black guy like stitched he was like, shut the I saw fuck the, I saw up. the second yeah. one. I'm like, I agree. Yeah, it was super I have funny. no room to speak. I'm not black. I'm not African, but like. But nah, but I love when, when people clap back and they're just, because mm-hmm. like people are sick of that fucking like whiny bullshit. Like what can anyone do? That's what I'm saying. Like fucking, what are you doing though? Yeah, like what do you Go do? build a hundred wells and then talk shit. Yeah, like like yeah. You're, you're, you're making more progress for society by complaining about him fucking because it of it. Is. Even if it was a white knight savior complex that made him do it, he still like net more is a net positive higher than you. Yeah, hundred so, yeah. percent. I saw another video that's been going viral, and it was like uh, someone like it, it was some Chinese stars like is blah 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 culturally appropriating with his hairstyle. He had like oh, I saw it, like Dylan he, Wang or something. Yeah, like something that. like that. And then it cuts, it stitches, and it's a black guy. And he goes, "Yes, he is culture pr- appropriating." But who cares? And then he just goes down the oh, list yeah, of all like giving examples. even in like black entertainment that cultural appropriation like Wu Tang Clan, things like that. And uh, it was just like at the end of the day, like who gives a fuck? Nah, like, Jeremy who's... Lin did it best, bro. <laughs> Kenyon Kenyon Martin oh. called him out for having dreads, yeah. and he was like, "Look, I understand that, but it's like like you have Chinese characters tattooed on your fucking arm." That is so oh, crazy. Man. There's some people that is so hypocritical it's like I, I do understand cultural like appropriation like I do understand that shit but it's like a lot of people do shit cause they think like that shit's cool yeah. and it's like they appreciate it no the words are used completely incorrectly I'm exactly. pretty sure cultural appropriation is like you're taking it and being like I did, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. this is my shit like mm. these, these are Chinese cornrows like that would be cultural appropriation exactly but like not be giving, wearing not it being like dude I love hip hop like I idolize yeah. like fucking Mello, like Carmelo Anthony back when he was on the Nuggets and that's why I love this hairstyle. Like, you know what I mean? That's just appreciating the Cultural fucking Cultural appreciation. Yeah, but like, yeah. I, yeah, I think that people get that shit twisted. Like, obviously if somebody's claiming that they made that shit or if, like that's that's a whole nother thing but most people are not. Most people just yeah. appreciate something. I guess people get upset when like people wear like headdresses to Coachella because they're like, yeah, that's a, there's like a history to that. Uh-huh. I bet people were like hating on you for wearing a bonnet. When your, no. when your hair was getting snipped. No, no one was hating on me. They was like, he knows. He knows how to take care of his hair. And I was like, yes. There's also shit like that has an actual use. Yeah, yeah exactly. No, honestly, people want to hate on anything, y'all. Yeah. Seriously, it's just like, are you a saint? Yeah. I gotta, it's I, time to live without hate. Like, there's no point in, in being so bro, hateful. Bro, I dead ass had to get off Twitter. I, I still have not got on that shit. Very Twitter's good. crazy I hate toxic. Twitter so Wait, much. Wait, going back to your, your topic. talking about fucking pay pigs or fucking... What's that? Actually, I'm not, I'm not really on that Twitter anymore. I started following like e-commerce shit and my mm. entire but then it's also equally as annoying because yeah. everybody's so got a jerk. thread that at the end of it they're trying to sell you something like at first it was cool because i'm like oh i'm learning stuff but i'm like everyone's teaching me the same fucking chat gpt generated articles and trying to sell me their course at the end of it now so even then i fucking you gotta just learn it and then you kind of know what to who's good who's not and then just yeah. ignore the rest um but yeah i have to admit i had cornrows Wait, you like lying. Yeah, I'll pull the photo. No, you fucking didn't. But it's super embarrassing. I need to see this. I'll be. It's super embarrassing because the photo that I have is when I wore them to a rave. You talking about like down, like down? Yeah, That's like real cornrows. Cornrows. real cornrows. See. I used like, to have braids, and they would give me shit for that. They they like added hair. No. I oh, just is this your hair? hair. So, oh, okay. so when I was in, in high school, I used to swim a lot, and I was in the pool like eight hours a day. So my hair was dead. It could never grow past like a certain length because mm. it was just it was blonde because the chlorine damn yeah and it just break off and so once I stopped swimming I was like I'm gonna grow out my hair really long I'm gonna get cornrows <laughs> let me find it also back in like 2004 motherfuckers didn't really care yeah that's why it, it like became a thing all of a sudden like I think in the 2010s <sighs> to like people to be mad bring at people up about that. problems yeah. and like I'm mad just... embarrassed to show you guys these photos too I, to I have it. to because because this was me at a rave <laughs> you're rolling you're rolling yeah, titties on one wait but going back to the topic would you care if your girl was listening to an artist that that she got have you guys ever been blocked? in that situation <laughs> no. yeah you have who my ex told me she made out with um what's his name saint saint john yeah yeah fucking brando brando's team yeah and you what did you think about that i, I literally sat there and i told her i hated her and then she cried and then i was like <laughs> Sorry, that's how what? I felt. But at the that's time. also like she you she cheated on you with him. No, 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 no. Before uh, me. Before, okay. Yeah. So oh. when uh, my ex was on a flight to Portugal in business class, and she sat next to Saint John, and he was hitting on her the whole time. 
Really? So I this guy is just our like. nemesis. Thank John, man. <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> how does he even look like? Why does your music have to be so good? <laughs> it is pretty good. <laughs> I just I, I just recently became able to listen to his music again. I don't know how to. I would say like six months ago. I don't know Before how to. That, this I is used like... to skip it. But I, I, couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to delete it. <clears throat> yeah, I, w- I would honestly, yeah, not let let them listen to it. Uh, let me see this, man. I, for some reason, I can't get into the folder. Like, so look, I'm just gonna show you. You guys figure it out. So that's it right there, and I'm gonna click on it. So it's that one right there. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. But look. Oh, oh my God. God! I'm on one. You you gotta look good with them though. Yeah, I look I look sexy. Oh yeah, you look good. What the fuck? That's look- so funny though. Cornrows are a cool hairstyle. Bring them back. Looks bring exactly back. the same. Yeah, sure. Hey, I love dre- I love long dreadlocks. Like those are really cool. Too. I don't like oh. dreadlocks because the cleaning process. I'm like, I don't no give a fuck, bro. I wish I was black so bad so I could have dreads. <laughs> I'm, I'm putting that out on the internet. I don't no, care. Move to Jamaica for a year and then you know you got. But your, I could still never get that. Why not? Oh my! I saw this. There's there's this one Asian TikToker. And he'll do like like runway videos, right? Like him putting on outfits, but he has a he has like one of those little treadmills that you can walk in place. Yeah, yeah. And he'll like once the beat hits, that's his transition. I saw a video, beat hit transition, different outfit. Motherfucker put on a whole like he has a wig that's dreads. Oh. That shit we don't agree with. I don't at least me I don't agree with that shit. That's stupid. If you want dreads. To grow put, them, yeah, process. Put, in the work, yeah. put in the process and be like, I love black people. I want to look like them. Yeah. Wait, Putting on a about- fucking wig, bro. You look like a cornball. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> like but I pro- wear wigs sometimes just because I don't want to dye my no, hair. No, but red. I'm talking about like, like cultural imagine, stuff. Imagine you put a wig on for dreads. You have that hair, and then you, oh, I, I woke up today. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just want. Wear- no, that's stupid. Okay. Yeah. But uh, you, you would want dreads like how long though? You want as long like- as they go. I'm talking about like Chief Keef dreads. And you and the reason why you don't do it is because you don't want to be called out for cultural appropriation. I don't even care about that shit. No. I just hate having long hair. Yeah. Also, it doesn't look it's also the same. Yeah, it well, yeah, it, it's like it's like black people hair that makes cool dreads, to be Ugh. honest. Like you ever see white people with dreads? Like yeah, that shit does not look cool. Enough of that chitter chatter. It's time for everyone's favorite segment from your four most decorated, most professional therapists. Dollar store therapy. Dollar store therapy. Can't afford therapy? We got you. Just pay $8 a month to ask us whatever you want. We've been doing these weekly as well. So um, if you guys want questions answered, we're doing these a lot more often now. We're posting almost twice as much on the exclusive content. So tap in, ask your questions. You can also ask us in our DMs on Instagram and our Discord. uh, But the the undertheinfluence.show participants will always get priority. Take it away, Jerome. Question number one. How do you level up as a person, especially as a man in their 20s? I was recently laid off from my corporate job that I worked for almost two years. Over the course of my life, I've accumulated many skills such as filmmaking, content creation, especially on social media, dance, marketing, UX design. But I'm struggling to focus on and dedicate all my time in mastering that one thing. Any advice will be much appreciated. Any advice will be much appreciated. Love from New Zealand. I'll say you've got some good skills. Like those are those are valuable skills. Being a man in your twenties is fucking. I, th- I think. Did you just say this quote earlier? Twenties is for healing your trauma, and thirties is for so that you can it. live. So that you can live in your thirties. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that's the, I, I agree with that. Twenties is definitely a lot of discovering yourself and unlearning things that made you a certain way. But also, it's about the grind. Like. Stack stack paper, care about fitness a lot, treasure the relationships in your life because relationships are what, even in terms of a, like a materialistic sense, relationships are what takes you far uh, in terms of a happiness sense as well. Yeah, focus on fitness, money, relationships, and you have skills that are, that are actually profitable. So just keep working on them. Um, don't worry about being a master of one thing, to be honest. Like, I think that's a beauty in life. You can chase many things at once. Yeah. Experience life to the fullest. All right, everybody. Welcome back to another year of Under the Influence. And we have a very special year planned for you guys. So much on the way. Thank you to everybody that stuck around. Thank you to everybody that subscribes to the bonus content platform. And thank you to everybody that supports the products. We appreciate you all deeply. And thank you to everybody that just like, comments, and subscribes. Thanks You're very special you. to us. So much. It's been like two years, and we got another third year. Let's... Yeehaw. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm.
Yeah. I, th- I think I have a good feeling about this year. Me so. too. This Me year too. is going to be amazing. You know why? Because on TikTok, I liked and I shared. <laughs> oh my Save God. the sound. <laughs> and the, and the, the sound. Save the sound. And the fucking episode. It's the first of the month. <laughs> 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 That's fucking every, every first of the month. Hey guys, we're under the influence. And if you're enjoying our clips and you want to see the full episodes, you can go to our website. We have them all linked to every audio streaming platform and YouTube. If you like, comment, and subscribe over there, it really helps us out. Please, we haven't paid the rent in months. If you're looking for us or any of the guests, we always tag them. Also, if you have any topics or questions you want to ask us, go to our website or text this number on the screen. If you're feeling thirsty, drink Nectar Nectar Hard Hard Seltzer. Seltzer. Delicious Asian flavors and no weird aftertaste. We ship to 45 states. Use code UTI15 at checkout on our website for 15% off your first box. And if you want some of the best bartending tools money can buy, you can use the same code UTI15 on barchemistry.com for 15% off. Thank you guys for your support. We really appreciate it. And if you leave mean comments, please stop. They really hurt our feelings. But if you don't, we love you.